There you go. Yeah. <laughs> what up, mate? I love that intro you made. Nice graphics. Oh, yeah. it's pretty funny, right? Yeah, I didn't get a chance to respond right. about it, but uh, yo, can cool. you believe it's a it's a massive snowstorm and it's the launch of Albatross Junction? It's fucking it's it's meant to be. I'm liking the way the logo is looking overlaid on this over us right now. So this so this is dope. <laughs> Albatross Junction. Because this story takes place like <laughs> in the super super cold. Because Donovan, Donovan looks very fucking mean right there. Yeah, I like that image of Donovan. That looks good. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. So yeah, man, a plan, uh, planet, no sun, all iced out in a snowstorm in the dark. It's meant to be, man. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. The sun <laughs> is gone. That's why like it's so it. cold. I like it. No, nah, it is it is brick city outside. Those real cold. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is super cold. So yeah, man, I gotta um I'm gonna set it all up. Hopefully we we're on there by midnight, right? That's what I'm hoping. Tell me if hey. this is too loud. <laughs> hey, what was that? This is your video. <laughs> is this too yeah. loud? That was amazing. Maybe that's better. That way we could still talk. That's incredible, bro. Crazy. So we're going to actually get the launch of our comic book, of our graphic novel, Albatross Junction, uh, done like right in front of you, just like we do every single thing we do for Albatross Junction as we do it uh, on this show, Comic Book Creation Live. Let me get rid of this logo. So. I'm kind of chilling right into Jay, though. Look at them graphics. <laughs> So we thought we'd show you not only just the inking and the coloring and the penciling, which we do every single week on Mondays and Wednesdays. Tonight, Mundo Monday. Mundo might be here at some point. Uh, Mundo is moving, so I think he's going to stop by at some point. He's moving, and tomorrow is his birthday. Tomorrow's his birthday, so we're going to take know. a, he might, take he a might shot. Be get your, right now. He might be celebrating right now. Oh, get your celebration ready. in the building! already tk is here what is going on tk let's take a look at tk new intro oh, team to the mother hey. oh. Oh. TK just stepped into the launch party of Albatross Junction. This is not only the making of Albatross Junction, but we're launching the Yo. comic book tonight. Yeah, I made me laugh when I, when I saw that shit. TK saying, what's his deal? <laughs> yeah, man, we got to get it all settled. Got to get it all settled on Indiegogo. So before the end of this broadcast, we got to have the live link. Where everyone can go and support, get their copy secured. Secure the bag. Secure the bag. It always needs to be secured. What's in the case? What's in the case? Okay, so when you when you get to where you need to go on indiegogo to start the campaign you let me know what i need to like type over to you or what kind of artwork think, we need to we'll come be, up with i think we'll be good i think we'll be good actually where's my ipad i need to get some indiegogo. art off that i believe go go dot com right y'all so what's the good word tk man how you feeling tonight everything good everything gravy <laughs> my ugly ass mug. <laughs> I need my glasses, man. I need my glasses. It's cold, yo. Right 
Why I got where are my like albatross drawings i thought i had them stored here what happened to them oh maybe it's an older you got, um you're not working on any illustrations right now yeah i got some uh pencils i'm gonna be working on <laughs> But as far as like my, I want to make sure my iPad. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, like some drawings from my iPad because you know, like when you're gonna do those uh, tier, like you know, graphics. Like we could show like as far as like little trading cards or little posters, we could show some of this artwork. Let's do it. Yo, put it up in the air, man. Put it up in the air. Yo, it took a turn on me last night, though, bro. What do you mean? I ate half of that gummy, and I was like, yo. How, like, did you end up paying up? Or huh? did, did it? Did so, it, did it, did it so let me explain the night I had, right? So I'm bugging out internally. I'm just bugging out. I'm bugging. I want to sleep because my foot is on fire. I'm not, I just want to sleep it off. You know what I mean? So now um, I go upstairs. I tell, I tell Maritza, I'm like, yo, man, I'm I'm lit. Like, I'm bugging right now. And she's watching some old 80s movies, some classic, like, some classic, like, chick flick I never watched. And I was like, yo, why do you watch these movies? They're always so sad. And then she starts telling me about it. And I'm like, oh, this movie's kind of crazy. <laughs> then she, she goes up to bed. I'm, I'm, I start watching, like, stupid, like, stupid TV, whatever. But then, that like... Time passes by. It's like two o'clock in the morning now, man. And then I, I hear I hear the kids like crying and arguing. I'm like, I'm like, what? So I sit up. I turn to put the TV on mute. I'm like, what the fuck am I hearing shit? So I hop, I hobble all the way upstairs. I open the door and I'm like, why are you still awake? And I look and they out. So I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? So I stay there for like a like a solid minute. I'm looking at the door. I'm like, what the fuck? And I hobble all the way back down. And I keep hearing them talking. I'm like, yo, I'm bugging. And then um. Like a blind, a single. I have like vertical blinds in the back, in the back, the back door. So one single blind fell, and I saw like a slit of outside and shit. And I was like, and then like the snow was hitting the, the, the glass, and I'm I'm like, yo, that's a ghost or some shit happening here. And then the door <laughs> glit out one single ball. Okay, I saw it in his sleep. He was like, Whoo! and then went back to bed. I'm yo, I was up to like three thirty, just sitting on the couch, like yo, I'm bugging, like yo, I'm bugging. I was like, yo, am I bugging? Am I sleeping? Like. You, Hearing you know shit go down. Yeah, you know when you're so tired and you're so lit, like you, you, you kind of like on that, like on that fine line of like asleep and awake and shit. <laughs> it was All crazy, it takes crazy. is to like lie down. For me, I was, like, I was, just, I was trying to lie down. If I if crazy. I lie down, it's over. Otherwise, I could stay. I could keep going. Yo, but the, the, uh, my kids told me today that they were up. So when I opened the door, they just got real still. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was really? Like, asshole. I'm like, oh, so you weren't asshole. you weren't bugging out. Yeah, but I didn't. I wish they would have just fucking been honest last night. Like you dickheads. <laughs> like, I want to scream at you. You know what I mean? It was funny though, man. Shit is real, bro. It's too real in the field. Too real in the field. Yeah, this Indiegogo link is gonna change, right? Because tonight you're setting up the new one. We'll we'll email everybody that uh, signed up during the pre-launch and tell you about the new link and. Uh, the actual launch page because it doesn't seem to be i was told that it was going to be the same exact same yeah. exact link and it was going to turn man. from the pre-launch into the into the live uh campaign and that's really not that's really not what happened i don't it's understand why but and it's like even indiegogo people we emailed it didn't seem like they knew i don't know it didn't seem like they had the right advice yeah, it's like, like you just they, have to set up the tiers. It's like, well, how do you? Where's that button? It's like they they kind of like shoot me off. Like they were like, yo, like go play with that section. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bro. Go play with that <laughs> section. Beat it. You're bothering me. 
forgot about these songs, man. I actually like this song right get back into this shit. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to draw a little for a little bit until you tell me. Yeah, yeah, hell you, hell you, hell you. So I can write something up for whatever category or give you a piece of artwork. Like it, I like it. How the hell? How come I can never get back to this pre-launch page? <laughs> Amazing, bro. Why don't you have the window open? See, I never like it, restart it, my computer, crazy. even though I'm always told to restart. Crazy. I'm running with the same tabs from like uh, December. <laughs> Damn. No, nah, no, nah, I'm not though, because I, I had my computer off in December, but you know what I mean. Oh, TK's getting another hilt vape. Just like the Bonza. Am I reading that right? Bonza? Let's see. Oh, he has like a vape that looks like a lightsaber hill. You know, this, this, the thing yeah. you were showing last time? I'm going to last one. Get another one. What's up? That's what up, Rock Doll. <clears throat> Pre launch page. Boom. Oh, global boss Simpson is crazy. Part of making a comic is actually getting it out there. All the behind the scenes crap. And part of getting it out there is getting it crowdfunded. Indiegogo is a great place to do that. So we're trying to do that right here on the live show so that hopefully by in like two in like two hours it'll be completely done what do you yeah, think it's gonna be good it's gonna be good it's gonna be good get all of this but i'm i'm uh setting it up officially starting to set it up
Oh, TK wants to come in. What? 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 Send that man the link. So where are you at? You got a title for that yet? Title for what? The whole campaign. Well, I'm, I'm kind of going with the same. I'm going with the same Albatross Junction, graphic novel, volume one. Same tagline, a futuristic tale of survival on a frozen world without a sun, alien DNA, apex predators, and war for heat. <laughs> remember, remember, remember how long we had to like go back and forth because they only give you like 100 and something characters? Yeah, okay, great. Painted ass, painted ass. I'm also going to look glance at the one that we like the artwork to and stuff like that and see if we can't include our best stuff there as well yo is tk backstage like what's happening but well, yeah but yeah. Well, yeah never takes this long unless it's um phone bugging out It, it, we, we need this music every time, man. <laughs> <laughs> it, like, precludes me from showing anything, though. Like, I want to uh, show, like, for instance, the... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, show you drawing the, large and all that. Or some of the Indiegogo, like, stuff that we think is, like, a uh, good inspiration for a campaign. But I can't really show it with the music playing. I'm surprised you'd include this song on on your. I try to just keep it moving, put everything on there. It sounds like one I'd put on on my mix. Oh, he's saying it's only giving them the um the action to block or report for some reason. It's weird. What is what does that mean? I guess he can't like get the um. I don't know. He's not getting. He's not getting the uh, the proper link or something. Like um, oh, try like missed, try missed taking something. that link though, like copy pasting it uh, into your browser window. So try that. that works for Rather than clicking on it, if you're trying to click on it here, that might not work. See if you can copy paste it. Can't yeah, definitely copy paste it. Copy, copy paste and worked worked on in another browser for me.
So as you're filling that out, Kev, talk about the things that you're typing. So right now I'm doing the um, we gotta have five tag words up up to five. So what was it we were gonna do? Um, comic. Uh, what was the other one? Like dystopian like, or something like that? Post-apocalyptic? What we what we gonna do? All right, Broski, we hit. Let me think. Uh, sci-fi. Comments. All right. Future space. What do you think? It works. I'm, I'm, everything you just said, I typed in, and it doesn't come up. It doesn't come up on a list for some weird reason. It's kind of retarded. Are we describing the wrong thing? Like, is it supposed to be a category, or is no, it we got, like descriptive words? We got the we got the category. Right, categories, comics. That's that's the that's from the drop down menu that gives you comics. It says to help backers find your campaign, select the category comics. Then tags. Enter up to five keywords that best describe your campaign. These tags will help organization and discoverability. And then there's a drop down menu, so like you can you can start to type a word and it'll catch it in the, in the um, drop down menu. But um, it's not happening. Gina, Gina, what up? Gina, with you? What's going on? Gina in the house. What's going on, Gina? You're definitely multitasking right now. Like, what else is happening here? What else you got going on right now? Editing? You're editing a <laughs> thousand pictures? All right, just, let, me just, let me just go through the list. The alphabetical order that they have. What's the pain in the ass? Yeah, I'm not getting locked out of this campaign again. Oh, she's drawing now. Nice. Always oh, support drawing. It's not fantasy. It might be someone's fantasy. There you go. It could be sci-fi fantasy if that's all one. If that's all one word. They don't even. Um, they don't have sci-fi in here, which is weird. They have like, like it's a. It seems like a random list, man. Let's listen to this list that 3D, 3D printers, adventure, air purifiers, album, animation, apps. Babies, backpacks, bags, band, batteries, beauty, beds, beer, bikes, Bluetooth, books, bottles, Burning Man, camping. Like, it's just, it's just random. Clocks, clothing, coffee, comedy, community, computers, crypto, design. How about entertainment? Drama. I'm going to put drama. I don't know. Drones. Earbuds, family, fantasy. Um, golf GPS, like random. This is so fucking random. <laughs> Knives, laptops, magazines. I'm just gonna keep scrolling. I'm just gonna call out what I think might be. Wait, let me see. Uh, Read some off. I like I like hearing the options. Random pianos, pillows, professional projectors, recording, restaurant, robots, robots. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not, no, bro. Not Romance, so safety, scooters. <laughs> Shirts, shoes, short films, skateboards, sleep, smart home, smartphone, smartwatch. Software, solar speakers, sports students, sunglasses. Thriller. Put thriller in this motherfucker. Is there like suspense or um, 
uh, YouTube, Wine, Websites, Wallets, VR. Sounds like you're at the end of the alphabetical list. Yeah, I am going back up. Suspense. And I mean, adventure. You want to put adventure on this motherfucker? Adventure, yeah, adventure. Let's put some adventure on this motherfucker over here. Then we Choices got, um, are severely limited. It's like compact disc players, yeah, adventure, guitars, hammers. hair, and headphones. Helmets, horror, indie. I mean, isn't everything on Indiegogo indie? <laughs> What's IOT? Look it up. IOT. Gina knows. Gina knows what IOT means. Found a furniture garden. Yeah, there's nothing else that um Does it say select five or select up to five? Up to five, you know, and there's nothing really Okay, so just yeah, just yeah, do the couple that it's like a surefire uh thing. I'm just going back through it just to see if um yeah, it's all good. Alright, now now we have some we can add to ourselves. Here we go. Here we go. Now we said future, right? Futuristic. Like I think sci-fi is the most important one. Science fiction. Post apocalypse. Yeah. Post apocalyptic. Oh, I see somebody in the back room. Let's see who it is. In here. It what is up, Mundo. What up, buddy? What up? How and it's feeling? Mundo Monday. Mundo Monday. <laughs> oh, I gotta sing like the mamas and the papas. Mundo Monday. How Mundo sweet Monday. it is. <laughs> Do you hear what Gina wrote here, Kev? Do you see what Gina wrote? Oh, damn. come on. I knew she was gonna do this. <laughs> La -da 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 -da. Gina knows. Gina knows. <laughs> I think Gina should start a page that says Gina knows. Right. <laughs> IOT. So what's the word, Mundo? Chilling, just getting home, just getting home, man. Hey, put up hey. uh curtains, put up curtains this weekend. Get some stuff moved into the house. We get our couches on Wednesday. We get uh, we get our uh, new refrigerator on Saturday. Nice. Yeah, it's coming nice. together. Coming together. What's about? So, Ed, it says first video um, URL should be the um, the uh, the uh, preview, right? The uh, trailer. Yeah, that sixty second trailer. And what we're going to do is we're going to have another trailer that we're going to do, which is going to continue the story in that in that first trailer. And that'll come out before uh, before the uh, campaign, the 60 day campaign is finished. So I think when there's about like 20 days left, we'll have that video done. Nice, nice A little continuation of that story. Cool, cool, cool. You can check out the uh, 60 second trailer in the description of this video. There's a link to the uh, to the trailer for Albatross Junction. Yeah. So what I miss, fellers? What I miss for about 20? Not minutes. too much. I was actually waiting for you, Mundo. I uh, I've got I've got 
my shot glass out. Ah, oh, cool. So I want I want Kevin right? to get a little farther in like what he's doing though because we he literally just started. I want him to do the uh, the whole campaign. Yeah. Like uh, launching like on on the live show tonight. Like, and cool. We'll, we'll discuss like, like whatever whip. he crack like, whatever he whip. Com <laughs> <laughs> whatever he comes up upon. We'll, we'll talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Mo Mundo sure. Mundo got to see TK's intro, man. TK was here. He said he'd be back. All right. No, no, no worries. No worries. I got to see it. I got to see come it. In, come in the show. So I think he's just working out some kind of. Cool. Maybe coming back with the link. No. Or man, I tried firing <laughs> up the, the, the profi board, man. Another didn't bust. Work. Didn't work? Didn't work. But I, but I think it could be the deadline this time. Because I, uh, after looking at it like very, very carefully, I see there's a couple of wires on the on the on the data line that are busted. So I think I might need to restrip it and re redo it and see what happens. Uh, yeah. Just on the just on the data line alone. But man, I'm telling you, it's driving me nuts. I, I can't it out. It's frustrating as hell. I can't figure out what's what I'm doing wrong, but. I'll get it. I'll get it. One way or another, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got to. Even if, even if it kills me, I'm gonna get it. Oh, T TK's back. He said he can't um can't get in. He's not getting in. Let me see if I'll uh, I'll grab the link again. Here, I I copy pasted it again just in case before was something wrong. TK should get get one of those uh, Cheech and Chong up and smoke intros. <laughs> that would that'd be good. That'd be good. Cause he's always got that, yeah, that vape. Uh, yeah, the vape. <laughs> oh shit! That looks cool. Mundo, it is like a blizzard out here in Jersey. Is it? And it's kind of ironic, right? That uh, like Albatross takes place like kind of in the in the I don't know. It's it's not like the dead of winter or anything, but it's just like always a perpetual blizzard. <laughs> that's a that's the birthplace of Albatross. So it come out, on, now. it worked out. It worked out. On directory not found. SD card not found. Oops. Oh, that messed me up. I was like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. I get this bench real quick. You're going to go bench? Uh, how many sets are you going to do? Just four sets of 60, 240. God damn. No, nah, no. Nah, I just got to get a bench to put this bum-ass foot up. <laughs> be right back. Be right back. Do you hear that? Yeah, that sounded like it works. Uh, yeah, yeah, but the uh, oh, what do you call it? Um, the buttons aren't working, and there's no when I tap it, nothing. And now, when you no when you got your buttons, uh, you got like one button wire from one button go into a certain place and then the other button wire from that button like basically connected to the other button and that's going to your ground and then yeah. the, uh, there's well, like got a, a ground place to put the other button wire to yeah but i got like because the, the you know you got the two grounds that go into one ground right and then excuse me and then you got the two other ones they go on the different sides of the board. Um, I'm I'm really leaning towards this uh, this data line. That's kind of think that might be the problem. Mm. Um, because uh, I don't know. I, I I I really I really believe that. It's got to be the data line. It's got to be the data line because I'm pretty sure that. 
But wouldn't I mean? Wait, even when even when this turns on like that, even wouldn't the PLI come on after I pull the kill key? And the PLI is not even coming on. I don't know how you connected the PLI. Well, because the PLI is going directly from uh, from the kill key uh, onto the into the board line. Well, I think if you were getting like since I heard it boot up, that means you're getting power, which means your PLI should come on too. Right, but the PLI is not so. Maybe I need to re resolder the PLI uh, positive again and see if that, or negative and see if that might be the problem. I mean, it's it, it's in the wiring somewhere. I mean, I know that for sure. And it sounds like, but the only thing that, see, no matter what button I press, nothing's what nothing's coming on. Hey Mundo, check out uh, check out this intro. We got TK. Okay, let me let me check it out. Let me check it out. I wanna. I gotta see. I gotta see this. Here comes TK. Team to the mother. Hey. Hey baby, I like it. Yeah. I was right on time. I was right on time. Right on, bro. Right on, dude. <laughs> dude, <laughs> oh, dude, grabbing the other guy like, <laughs> that that's great. cool, man. That's yeah. a cool, cool intro. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh. I don't know why it was holding out so bad. I don't know what was up with that. Like my other phone wasn't doing it, and I was like, I don't know what was going. On. And I came back over here. This one, it was like, it wouldn't let me in here for a second. I'm like, fuck it. I didn't know what was going on. And that other one showed, I was like, fuck it, I'll try it again. And then it worked. I'm like, well, that was odd. Fuck it. <laughs> Work. <laughs> Magic. Uh, I, guess. I used the force. There you go. Yo, so it you was, get, you get another, uh, you get another vape like the one you're holding now? It was my old school. It was the dark side that worked. <laughs> it was the old force. Yeah. Maybe that's what it was. <laughs> I mentioned that I was getting the, uh, the light side of the force because it was the dark side saver that I had for the longest. That's I mentioned crazy. the other saver that I was getting. It's going to be the, uh, the brass one that I'm getting. Mm. And, uh... Maybe that's what it was. It's like getting jealous of me. Well, you're bringing in the light side. Fuck you. <laughs> getting all excited on a brass one, are huh, you bitch? Yeah, you feel it. <laughs> it's not feeling that shit. Yeah, so you're bringing another one in here. See how you show. Love for that one. I'll show you. It's all wenchy on me. <laughs> Our old boss used to say Mercury was in retrograde. Uh, retrograde. Yeah. And that would screw up all electronics, apparently. <laughs> I don't know that I necessarily believed in, like, I don't know, what is it called? Is that like astronomical? What's that called? Like astronomy? Astrology. Yeah. Astrology. Astrology. <laughs> Astrology. Man, I, I really like that picture right there. Are you guys gonna put that as a poster or a trading card? I think that I think that's one card that we have. That's yeah. one card. Y'all should do that as a poster as well, man. Probably can. That'd be a great presentation. Yeah, for sure, man. I I I love the aesthetic of everything together like that. Kev, you know what I just thought of too is like, what if the painting is this that art, but you paint it? Yeah, that could, that could work, dude. That'd be hot. That would. That would definitely be hot. What if you just 
decided to just make a movie cover. Should <laughs> make a movie yeah. poster with the little skinny type at the bottom and everything. Yeah, uh, be hot. I, I told you, TK man, we're gonna we're gonna see these guys up on uh, Netflix, man, with their with their vid. They're gonna turn it. They're gonna turn this comic book into a animated series. I'll be. Sick. I'll be one of the first di- guys to die in it. Let me be. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll be that first guy that gets like charged by one of those uh, the blue beasts that just gets fucked up completely. That's, that's oh, what the credit. Oof. That'll be oh, like well. your, your credit name. It'll be like guy number four. Yeah. <laughs> but you gotta stop nice, by good line. Like, why did he get killed? He was totally awesome. Well, he okay. wanted to die. But he's got to stop by El Mundo so he can have his uh, have his drink. drink on the house. He's got to have oh. his drink on the house. He oh, is that like a funny twin or something? That just, <laughs> you know, like later on in life or something? <laughs> <laughs> Let my brother play in it. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Oh, I like the train right here. I like this song. I do have a brother that looks a lot like me. His name's Troy. Troy. Oh, it was like the name Troy, man. I knew yeah. two Troys and both were fucking crazy. Like, they were both tough, like, badass fucking kids. Yeah. <laughs> I never Your got brother to meet crazy? Him, no. You never got to meet him? No, yeah. That's just He's like pretty a... badass from what I'd seen in this picture. He was a pretty heavy drinker, you know? And he's, he's a skater, just like me. And uh, just like me, in a way, he always had some badass bitches lining up, having some good times, and uh, always just had a lot of fun, had good, good high school life, and then he always had his interest in good things, and then always had like good rock interests, good rap interests, and pretty much a lot of similarities. Never got to meet him. Yeah. A lot of family of my own, you know, they've always went out their own different. They was always too busy yeah. having their own ways. We just kind of sprung yeah. out. Too sparkly. We went our own way. Yeah. Not that we didn't want to talk to each other. We just too busy having our own thing. Wow. Yeah, as well. Where's he at? Um, somewhere in Arizona. I mean, I was in Arizona too, but I mean. Of course, my dad, he was he was an action figure of his own, so, I mean, you can't calm a beast down. <laughs> He's in, uh, he is in Georgia, so. I got family in Georgia. That's yeah. Cool. What's they do? Uh, construction workers. <laughs> They uh they work for some high high profile construction companies. Hell's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, uh, they 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 go back and forth between Georgia and Florida. Okay. My sister, she works uh with one of the presidents of um those driller companies. Oh, cool. So she's oh, married shit. to one of them. Oh, that's cool. That's what's yeah, cool. I can't name Drilling one of company, them. like Armageddon? I don't want to mention them, actually. <laughs> oh, shit. Can't so I, can't mention, <laughs> I dare not say. Some level five shit. Yeah. And once I met him, I can't call him back. So I was like, oh, man. <laughs> that's pretty profiling. So I was like, man, you know what? My sister's like, don't lose contact with me. I'm like, well, I guess I'll try not to. <laughs> well, that's a thing. He's awfully so. mad at my brother, too. One of my brothers. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's never cool. My brother, no. Tim, he's a kind of a... He's kind of an asshole, but, I mean, he's, he's just that cool. <laughs> I mean, I he's never... I always had it in me, man. Never, he's the never baby. The, he's a baby. I'm the baby of three, and I always had it in me, man, just never to fucking argue with my, my older brother and sister, because it's just a waste of time, man, like... I don't want to fuck that relationship up. You know what I'm saying? I wish yeah. my kids felt that way. <laughs> so I'll be like, yo, listen, I'll say, yo, you, you sound like an asshole right now. They tell me I sound like an asshole. I'll be like, cool, be quiet for half hour. They'll be like, I ain't like that shit, but let's move forward. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah exactly. So at least you know how to bring it back together. 
Yeah, yeah, got to, man. You got to, man. I, I know too many people are just like fucking like estranged from their own fucking like siblings. It's wild. It's like, yo, that's yeah, yeah. That, that and that's a shame though, too, man, because you know that you try you know, fam, fam, family should yeah. be to get together, man. You know, not not apart from each other. I mean, it's, it's it's better than like flat out hate. Like I know I know siblings that flat out fucking hate each other. Like they would fucking like try to stab each other if they see each other. You know what I'm uh, saying? Like that's crazy. To me. Uh, that is crazy. Like exes, ex girlfriends are just so damn toxic. They don't even let you talk to your fucking uh, your babies. Oh no, that's fucked up. No, I, I yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't. Uh, nah, that ain't happening. That's mm. crazy. You can't even stand to be within like the same state. Ka. Ain't right. Right. <laughs> oh. that ain't right, man. Oh that shit. Ah. Women, they're so hard to control, but you gotta love them. <laughs> so hard to control. It's so hard to control. <laughs> The law of nature. You want to fly, but well, you always they, fall. They, you got that right. You can't live with them. You can't live without them. Shit. It's all good, though. So good. So bueno. Yo no sé por qué. <laughs> por qué. Ay, por qué. It, it, it's like you know that's what awesome. I say. I need to get like, a good, good-hearted Mexican woman. At least they got a good affinity for family. Yes. Maybe. Well, it depends. I mean, <laughs> some of them yeah. women are like, oh, shit. <laughs> they can't be fucking psychotic from what I hear, though. Yeah. At least they'll turn around and murder you. At least end it. You know, at least at one point. At least, <laughs> <laughs> at least it ends at that point. Uh, it's it's not over. It's bad. over. They're not that bad. Done. <laughs> Depends what you do. Depends, depends what you do. Yeah, yeah. It depends what you do. <laughs> At least they fucking end it. <laughs> well, they may tell. hang you. They may hang you by the nuts on the wall. You know, I mean, shit. That's funny as hell, man. <laughs> oh damn! God. Oh my god. You got to be careful with the ones that are that are uh, half Hispanic and half uh, Irish, man. <laughs> wait, wait, where did that come from? Is that is, that is that what your wife is? Mean combination. <laughs> See, I'm Irish and I want a fucking Mexican girl. So you're telling me I can't have kids, then? <laughs> oh no, you can have kids. You can have kids. You got oh, fun with kids. Damn. I'm Polish and Irish, so. And then I have like Native American in me, so I should Native stop. American. There you go. Did it get you a good Indian woman? <laughs> I already did that. Oh, you did that. I did yeah. that already. He's a good boy, though. Been He's there, done boy. that. Yeah, she went fucking insane. So that's Ooh. that's enough. Though. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> And she started going insane from the get go. So that that one was a a bad one. I tried. He's a good man already. So he turned out all right. That's a good Batman pick right there. Thank you. Oh, that's so part Kev, of the video. Kev, you don't got any questions about this? Uh, that's part of the video. I'm, I, I was just, I just got stuck looking at Batman. I'm like, why the fuck is he drawing Batman? But that's part of the music video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, yeah, I was bugging out. I was like, yo, he's flying through Batman right now. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I know. That's why I was saying he's like flying. But he's, yeah. Like, yeah, he's just it, drilling it, through it, that, it, isn't he? Yeah, but if you listen to the music, I mean, it's going it's with draw, the music. Yeah. Like it's a time shit, lapse. Man. Time lapse. It's like oh, yeah. and, and we're at the um, Then I looked up there to the left too. I'm like, what? I am at I'm at a section that says story, right? 
and it says, mm. tell potential contributors more about your campaign. Provide details that will motivate people to contribute. A good pitch is compelling, informative, and easy to digest. So, what the Maybe fuck? something like... Uh, they, 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 I, they're, not, they're not asking about the story that we're, that we're having the book. They're asking about like like what we're doing, like as, as far as like the creative story or something like that. All right, so put like um, a 20-plus year journey... To bring Albatross Junction to graphic novel form. Is that I'm, I just want to double check to make sure that that's what they that's what they're saying here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. You know how a lot like a lot of these um campaigns have um pitch videos. That's my boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Wolverine is the man. Oh, yeah, man. that's my boy. That's my boy. You know, say you have you have like the creator just talking like, oh, we've been working on this for blah blah blah, but we don't we don't have a pitch video. A pitch video? What's that? Just like you an a elevator pitch, pitch. Like like me and Ant talking about what we're doing and why you should contribute and what you'll get. We haven't made one of those. I, I, but can we update it once we launch or no? I'm I'm thinking, yeah. So can you put something in a in a writing description there in the meantime? Or? Yeah, so yeah, you were you were right. You were right at first, like a, a twenty year wait, what the fuck? Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh. Hey folks, Albatross. I just wanted to see like like a darker version of like what Wolverine would have had like in like a like a stealth one of Wolverine. He's always had that like like a dark brown version. But like what if there was like a uh, like a shade of gray kind of like stealth flip to him. Did it, did it, did he, had, he had a black one. version? Yeah, he had a black version. He had, he had, he had a black black gloves. He I think cool it was black kid, and gold. I think it was black and gold. I think it was all black. All black? Yeah, all black with the, with the short leather gloves and shit. Hmm. It could be, oh. yeah, it's possible. I might, I might have missed that one. I think that's well, like I nineteen. The world, I might have not been able Dude, to see it. The music that. might be too loud. I think, I think we're like screaming. Oh, let me uh, loud. lower that. I hope they come that's out with cool. like the X Men again and like show like the. Uh, like X Men, like where like one of the survivors of like when they made copies of the X Men, like the one that didn't get completely like brainwashed or something, because you know how uh, when he had been beat up by one of his copies, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. And then like one of them was just beating the shit out of him, right? And then there was like there had to have been more copies of him. One of them may have gotten away without having a complete brainwash of him, having, you know, gotten away from that and then maybe lived as long as he did, perhaps maybe not having had that metal overlaying all of his bones, surviving that metal, because that metal was what it was destroying him that entirety of his life. He would have maybe have survived as long as he did. And gotten away from that metal to you know so that he would have healed himself over that time and then made it as long as all that because I think there was um, X-Men 2099 in the comic books that I remember seeing mm -hmm. um, uh, Wolverine was there like where he was then. wearing that suit sorry and like Wolverine was still alive in 2099 yeah. Yo, this there would be more. Hey, this... Oh wow! I can't see. Remember this at all? One sec. Oh okay. Oh yeah. Green, <clears throat> green and red. I was gonna yeah. guess like something Dude, like nineteen eighty nine. Yeah, yeah. That's him, really old though. That's him, really old. So it might have been like him, still old as hell, but like he might have passed surpassed all of that metal somehow found a way to then, like you know cured himself and like maybe dealt with that metal in a way 
Yeah. And they got they got this one going out now. I've never seen this one before. But there, there's a lot of images of him in his black and gray suit. That oh, see, seen. yeah. Oh, that's nasty. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's dope. Pretty yeah. sick. Pretty sick. <clears throat> that's just the, just the that, way. Didn't that him color like... come out? Didn't that color come out after he fought the uh, Gray Hulk? Something like that. It's been a long time though, but for, since I've actually kept up with some of the comics like that. But, uh. but I know he changed he changed his his costume color after fighting the Gray Hulk for a good while. I just can't remember where he lost a hand somewhere. And then turned it somewhere into a gun or something like that. Or maybe he just lost a hand. Mm, no, I that was like after I stopped collecting. I think that was uh, more like maybe like 10 years ago in the co in the comics. Yeah, I was going to say it had to have been more recently, you know, for that to happen. And I didn't see that. Because that was somewhere when he was kissing... Um, uh, someone who couldn't touch anybody because every time she touched someone, she would absorb periodically whoever's you're, power. Oh, you're talking about Rogue. Rogue, yeah, Rogue. And she had grown after some time where she had also had lost that power for some time and she wasn't as strong too. Yeah, well, she had, uh, she had temporarily she had temporarily lost her power and so that's why she was actually able to kiss uh wolverine because of his yeah. healing fact because of his healing factor she ended up getting her power back because of that and i think that was because of uh, professor x too she was also then able to have kids too she had mm -hmm. might have had two something like that yeah, but I might not be as accurate in that memory as well. So don't don't quote me on that. <laughs> yeah, so don't you get it me all both. Right. Don't get it fucked up. You, you and me both. <laughs> yeah, because I could be very wrong. But I do remember seeing that to where that those two were kissing, and he yeah. also had a missing hand in that picture. Let me see. I think I, I might that. have. I might have that comic book in my in my box here in the garage. So. Let me see if I can pull it out and find it. Because I was like, wow, she could finally kiss him because, like, she was in love for the longest time with him. Well, having she, she had always been more or less in love with Gambit more than anybody else. Right. Um, she, Those are uh, the comics that I read, Mundo, too. Is like she was always in love with yeah. Gambit. And in the, in the movies, yes. they made it like she was in love with Wolverine or something. Yeah, right, and, right. and it, that's she you know, tussle with that thought too. That was weird. And that, that's kind of that's kind of messed up because um, really, not really, having threesomes, not having threesomes. No, Wolverine never <laughs> even wanted nothing <laughs> close. To now Wolverine <laughs> is sucking Scott Summers' balls. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hey, kidding me? That might blasphemy, be bro. He wanted blasphemy, to bro. blasphemy. Oh shit! He wanted to cut Summer's uh, balls off, man. Not anymore. Now he cuddles them. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Aunt, yo, Ant said some shit like that, and I'm like, shut up! Like he's so anti, like shit. Now I was like, that's not true. Then I looked it up, and I was like, I was home. I, I felt so dirty. I was at home, like, oh my god, <laughs> not Wolverine. Um, <laughs> not what my was Wolverine. It, like, a comic before that or after that, there was one, uh, uh, an entity of computer where it was like almost liquidized, where it was um, the Iceman and Jubilee, they were just an after their teen or preteen, not preteen, but they were just like after like the 19 or 20, where Jubilee, her her developing her own powers were moved like to where she was like learning how to explode things even more. Like she could have like explosive powers beyond. And she was like in love with Iceman and he was like able to freeze things in, in a much powerful way, even more so. I'm not sure where it was where he could freeze the entire 
entirety of like a, more than a lake at a time, more of like he could freeze like ice. He birds. actually became like Omega level. Yeah. Like shit got way bigger than what they were able to do. And like they were in love also, and it was like, what? So things were getting bigger and then I was just not able to, pick, you know, buy more comics and stuff. I just kind of lost my ability to get further into the story. So, mm-hmm. so I just kind of fell off. Well, see, and, and, and I it was kinda, like right around. Go ahead. I kind of fell off the same way because it got to me. It got a little monotonous with some of the with, with some of the storyline. And um, they kept going back to certain stories that, like, dude, you're already done, man. I mean, come on. Do something better than that. I know y'all are capable of doing that. Yo, Kev, what up? Uh... I started getting into Spawn and uh, the Green Lantern. I um, uh, started getting into the badass dude that... Uh, he was uh, the the dude that rode um, the motorcycles, and he just light himself up on fire. Ghost um, Rider. Ghost Rider. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, that was kind of like, which one do I want this time? I only have like ten bucks. I'm like, shit. <laughs> you can get, like, get your uh, shot ready. We're gonna do a toast to Mundo's birthday. It's Mundo's Mundo birthday. birthday Let's do hours. this. What time were you born, Mundo? What's that? What time were you born? Oh shit! You gotta ask me that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, you I always. I don't know why I always ask that fucking question. It was like two thirty-three in the morning. Nice. <laughs> I started hey, hearing shit. Explode. Check this out. It might be like the divic in the background of this cover, man. Look at that. Oh shit! <laughs> oh I, shit! I, I, don't, I don't know if I've seen this cover. You know. That cover's not familiar to me. Damn, nope. look how crisp that is. That's nice, man. Yeah. It's nice as hell. Keep them pretty well. I pull them out every every couple of months to to air them out. I don't I don't I, I just open the um the back just a little bit. And you'll see. Nice. I remember that one. Yep. One of my one of my favorite one of my favorite uh, um, covers is this one right here. You still yeah, got yeah, your that's, that's beastly. That's beastly. Omega Red, Omega Red I, is beastly. Yeah, I, I love this cover right like, here. Yo, you know what's funny? Like Omega Omega Red was one of the only characters that kind of made me nervous, man, because he could get fucking busy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, yo, Omega Red is in this one. Somebody could die. He he's one he's one of the very few that kind of fucked up uh Wolverine a little bit. And he bit. was fucking vicious, man. It's like it's like it's like I don't know, like they, they there was a lot of um some bad fucking villains, but none of them made me I didn't care if I was like fuck them. Like like Galactus and all them like fuck Galactus, fuck fucking <laughs> Apocalypse, fuck him. But Omega Red was just the truth. He was hands on, like he want he wanted all the smoke. That's Are you it. afraid of Russians, Kev? You think that was it in the '80s and shit? Could have been. I don't know. You remember? You remember the uh, Executioner song series? Yes. And then, and then they had the trading card in there. Look at that. I love the smell of the Executioner song, like the way those comics smelled. What? I I, I still oh, have the look. I still have the <laughs> I still have the card in there. Kev, you remember they were some of like the last ones that were like printed on that like. Oh wait! Not- I'm gonna pull that back up. I had that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean I didn't mean to fucking cut you off, but I had no, that no, fucking did. card forever. And I I don't know what happened. To it. <laughs> oh that man. Came with it. That card, that card. Look how fat out that dude is. I forgot about that guy. Those teeny oh, ass arms. <laughs> <laughs> That's apocalypse, man. Apocalypse was bad. This is the truth. Yeah. What were you saying, Anthony? Uh, I forgot. What was I saying? About X Men? Um, oh, the way that no, it was just stupid. It was about the way that those comics smelled because of the way that the like the printing process was a little different yeah. for the color yeah. back then. It wasn't on like the glossy paper yet. Only like the covers were like really nice. 
I still, I, I, I still remember. Stuff. You're talking about something. you're talking about the ones that had like the that fucking stupid ass illustrated toy catalog in the middle of it, right? For like the X-ray glasses and all that. Yeah. Shit. Like old school, old school. <laughs> old school it was almost shit. offset and shit. Yeah, those smelled amazing. Maybe it was a 3D print or something. Those shits were fucking amazing. Now here's oh, wow. here's a couple. Of, here here's one that I kind of got into a little bit, but um I did really didn't. The new series was like uh, after a minute. Yeah, I never just, I never got into this dude, man. Yeah, he just like eh, he's Who's that, Mr. So Sinister, or whatever the fuck his Mr. name is. Sinister. Yeah, Mr. Sinister. You know, you know when I got into Mr. Sinister, and I'm and this is gonna sound stupid as fuck. I didn't get into him until I played the Deadpool video game because he was one of the villains, <laughs> oh, and he really? was he was the shit. I was like, I was like, oh, maybe I get his dude a chance, and I looked up his history and shit like that. Okay. What'd you find never, out? Never really, never. Uh, I didn't retain any of this shit. Like it wasn't didn't mean much to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still, I'm still really that. Man. I'm still really not that good. <laughs> no, I'm not that into him. I'm just not into that fucking guy. Yeah. You ever see this series? The uh, this is not the X Men or anything, but this series kind of trippy, trippy man. Oh no, Straight Samurai. That shit looks, looks like, like Ant did that shit. Brutal. Looks like Ant did that shit in '91. <laughs> right. <laughs> But this is a black and white series, man. It's a black and white series. It's pretty cool. Yo, I'm, I'm, not, even trying goes, funny. I'm not even trying to be funny. If Ant said, yo, I did this in 91, I'd be like, hell yeah, you did that in 91. <laughs> Bruce Lee? Yeah, it's kind of like based on Bruce Lee, man. Yeah, everything Kung Fu related was Bruce Lee. But it's it's like... It recommended for mature audiences, it says. Notice how they say recommended. All right. All right. I'm, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna keep my head down for like 10, 15. I'll do the shot for it. Do the shot. Come on. Yeah, let's, then, let's then do I, then that. I'm gonna, then I'm go I, got, I got something in the fridge right here. I oh, man. What the fuck fridge. is this on the screen? This looks crazy. Some ant headed <laughs> broad with a mech suit. A mech suit for the for the uh, um, man. man Fred. Fred. Oh damn, Spider Man mech suit. <laughs> Yo, oh, this scene is crazy. Oh wow. Yo, this bitch is riding a gorilla. <laughs> they got all sorts Holy of shit. crazy creatures. They'll decapitate you, and then they rape you. They actually yeah. visit. They actually go to Mundo's bar. Yo, where, yeah, where uh, TK go? What happened? Oh, he blinked out. He blinked out. Oh no. Well, maybe he'll he'll uh, if he comes go back there. in, we'll just get to play his intro again. It'll be fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be so beautiful when he comes back. Yeah, let's do it. Y'all got my whiskey ready, man. All right. In here, we pour whiskey. I have tequila, so we're kind of oh shit. Oh tequila. my god, tequila! Y'all are kidding me, man. I tequila. still want to drink. I still want to drink tonight, and I can't because I'm taking the damn uh, second dose of COVID tomorrow. Mandalorian. This man. is the toast too. Ah, uh, but we could wait. We could uh, do it on Wednesday. I don't know. We'll do, it we'll do it again. Do it again. Do it again. This is going to be a party now for 60 days. As long yeah, as we do this thing launched, this uh, launch is yeah. going to be a party starting right now. So I'll do one. Everything yeah. bigger in Texas. Hell yeah. Yo, like my, happy birthday, Mandalorian. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bean <laughs> <Many> more, <laughs> brother. <laughs> many more. <laughs> ah, I many tell you more. what. Uh, I was given this. It actually, warmed me up by somebody. Yeah, hell yeah. I don't remember who, but this is like old, old, old. Amazing Spider-Man three twenty three thirty one. I'm trying to remember which uh, which Spider-Man I had the most of. Like it might have been amazing, Kev. What like there was like spectacular. It was amazing, and then there was something else. I had 
Which one did Saul and Yusuf go to Spectacular? Possibly. If he did, then maybe I had the most of those. That's, the, uh, that's when I was hooked. But before that, I was like, fuck a Spider-Man. Like, I like Spider-Man, but he didn't mean much until he was in those Capcom versus Marvel games and until Todd McFarlane did him. Yeah. I know this this one ain't worth nothing at all, but uh, it's still kind of fun to see this one. Is that missing a cover? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the shit. That's the shit. <laughs> it's old. It's all messed up. But <laughs> I got so many of them like that, Moon. I got so many coverless ones because I would also buy uh, comics at garage sales a lot. Yeah. So I have like oh, a his lot phone. of comics. TK's are... phone died. TK's phone died. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to back TK? out for like for like two seconds. And then I'm, I'm not right. for a couple of minutes just to get busy. And then I'll come back in like 10 minutes. TK. He's here in spirit in the chat. Thank you for being here, TK. Yes, sir. TK the man. And here's another one. Here's another old one that's only bad thing about it is the cover's kind of messed up. But you see this one. I remember that, Mundo. I remember that. Well, I don't know if I have it, but I do remember this one. This is yeah. famous artwork, wasn't it? Yeah. For the and, and as a matter of fact, a lot there's a uh, there's a lot of pictures and uh, uh, paintings or stuff that with this with this artwork on it. Uh, like a, I think Hobby Lobby has a, a couple of uh, like um, paintings with this on it. Sensational Spider-Man. I feel like it also kind of uh, pays homage to. Uh... The amazing fantasy number 15 that was like the first appearance of spider-man because mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. like a similar although spider-man's in in the one you just showed he's kind of like the prisoner but in the amazing fantasy he's swinging on a on a, on a web there but it's, it's i don't know it kind of seems similar to me a little bit it's just in that one he's defeated and the other one it's like his intro oh well i got i got this little special bit right here that i'll show you this uh Spider-Man right here, signed by Sam De La Rosa. Nice. Those That's those awesome. are worth those like are worth that. something man, with those um holographic prints. Yeah. And I got this in the card right here. This this hologram. Yeah, you know, I don't know. We're gonna have some like stretch goals on our campaign. So I don't know if like Kev, I saw some stretch goals in some people's campaigns that were like uh you know, if we get to this amount of money, we'll do a special like foil cover. So I don't know if we want to do that, but I think we can add like stretch goals whenever yeah, we yeah, want. We can so add that. Kind of see how that goes. Like yeah, I would I say, just that. like do the basic stuff right now. Like if you see that document I sent you with the indie with the um, Indiegogo yeah. tiers, and if you need me to read you any stuff from the script or anything, because like we have some synopsis type stuff. I don't know if there's you know. Or if you want me to like write something that's like you know, and the creators of Albatross Junction. Like Anthony Legapa, Kevin Scott Cosme. Join toward us. the end, you know, we could put like how far we've gotten um, the progress so far at the time of this launch. You know, we have like 40 pages of the internal artwork done. We've got a cover. We've got a printer selected. So this comic is going to come out. We uh, we are going to predict June first. We have a lot of it ready. It's just that the first issue is going to, or the first volume is going to have issues one and two. Yeah. So we're working on issue number two right now, uh, but that's all going to be included in this first volume. So on Indiegogo, when you when you drop by this campaign that Kevin's setting up right now in the in the background, and we'll show it. Hopefully, he has something to show. We can we can kind of put it up on screen at the end here, and then you know get the get the correct link to you guys that want to uh, support the campaign. It'll it'll be up for like sixty days, and I think we'll be able to be in in demand. But to be quite honest, uh, we're a little bit of 
noobs when it comes to uh, having an Indiegogo campaign. We haven't done one yet. So this is the first Indiegogo campaign. We've waited till we're like more than 50% done with the book itself. And uh, we hope to keep working on it on these live shows, Mondays and Wednesdays. And actually... Come join the fun, people. Come join the fun. Man. Yeah, if you subscribe here and also subscribe at uh, Comic Book Creation, which is our channel where we post our videos. This is Comic Book Creation Live, where we do our live videos. But subscribe at both. We can uh, show you a lot about Albatross Junction on here. It kind of happens slowly. But if you're into that type of thing, like getting the spoilers and getting the behind the scenes and talking about the comic book being made, then this is definitely the show that you want to watch. Uh, you know, if you want shorter videos and stuff like that, and you, and you want to just get like shorter bursts of Albatross Junction, you could uh, check out comic book creation where we post a lot of our shorter videos, clip shows from our live shows, videos like that. And got a lot of videos planned for that channel. Stop on by, come have some fun with us. And if you got any ideas, these guys take uh, take their ideas into consideration. And uh, who knows, maybe you guys might be a comic book character such as myself, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and Mundo's in the story, and there's actually a tier where you could uh, purchase to uh, be killed in Albatross Junction if you want to that that would be issue three or four though for volume two so you can you know you can check it out there's a couple surprises that we've got in the different tiers different ways to get into the world of albatross junction just like mundo did and, and become a character yeah you come by my bar though don't ask for the weak ass drink <laughs> you're liable to get slapped <laughs> Mundo only serves the best. In here, we pour whiskey. The best. It is only Mundo Monday, but those those drinks can can kill you. I mean, they might be the best that there is, but they can kill you. They're dangerous. Mm -hmm. They are dangerous. Guaranteed to warm you up, though. <laughs> <laughs> Even my Thaw drink you warmed out. me up, and it, it wasn't any nuclear waste in it at all. So I can't imagine yeah. what would happen if there was like nuclear material inside the inside the cup, or it was on fire, like some drinks at Mundo's. Just be uh, be uh, be careful. You're liable to fart uh, mushroom clouds. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here's one for you. Here's a comic for you. Melt down to mm -hmm. Havoc and Wolverine. This is starting to come back to me. This was lost in my my memory. I think this is starting to come back to me, that one. Yeah, this I, I do the... remember that one. Yeah, this one this one was pretty good. That was uh really good that was one of my favorite characters see like my best friend dominic loved cyclops uh -huh. so i felt like i couldn't really love the same characters as him he was like a year older you know i didn't want to copy him too much i still like love the love love who uh oh is he gone you gone you hit mute yeah he he like his oh, voice faded out there you go. I don't think I clicked that button, but it said your mic is now muted. I'm like, huh? <laughs> but uh, Dominic always loved Cyclops. So I felt like I had to like, like someone different. So I always liked Jean Grey, and I always liked mm -hmm. telekinesis, so it kind of fit. But I always What about also, Psylocke? Like, Did you like Psylocke? I liked the way Psylocke looked, uh, but I, uh, I thought, and I liked how she was kind of a ninja, but I, I really liked uh, Havoc. Like, because he was, like, Cyclops' brother, and he was kind of, like, I don't know, more secret. Like, you didn't really know as much about Havoc. And he had, like, a, I don't know, I thought, like, a cooler power. Like, uh, Cyclops' power was more like a curse a lot of the time. Where yeah, Havoc's well, power I was cool. 
Right. I didn't, and and I didn't think he was as much of a dick as his brother Scott was. I always liked the way they drew uh, Havoc's like abilities, in that like uh, concentric circle type artwork. I remember this. You got good taste, Mundo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, did any of you guys ever call her Fizzy Lock as kids? Fizzy Lock? No, because, <laughs> no. like, I think that's not, you know, well... I should say yeah. Fizzy Lock when I was a kid. I mean, you <laughs> you shouldn't funny. have, because cause you had a lot of older brother and older friends around. Like, I had yeah. an older friend, so he, they taught me with No, no, no. But my, brother, my brother's nine, almost ten years older than me, so he didn't sit down and talk to me about comics you know what i mean <laughs> and then my boys didn't really didn't really get down with comics oh okay this one's pretty secret. i don't remember i don't remember that that uh that ghost rider at all oh yeah that was actually a pretty good read man okay so it looks like that might have to go get my well uh, probably Wednesday. Look for my Wolverine comic books and see if uh, if that one with him and in there. Uh, now this Wolverine right here. This one was a really good read as well. That oh, I remember cool. that one. I remember that one. That I don't yeah. think I ever bought. I think that was maybe. Kev, was this after I stopped collecting? Because I don't really recall I this. That. I remember that um, that cover I, that looked pretty sick to me. Yeah, I, I love that one. Kind of like, almost like a Joker face to it to him. Yeah. All right. Yo, hey, do, do you want like um, Space Windu in the middle of your name, like Anthony Space Windu Legapa? No. 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 This is the page I was working on tonight in the past couple of shows. I think it's about ready. This is the this is our monster in our story, the the Dibic. Actually, I need to add hair to that to that top one, but he's got some long hair. He's got some beautiful hair. <laughs> he's uh, ready for the cow gun, or no? The uh, what do you call it? The Pantene commercial. <laughs> So, Kev, if you end up, like, coloring this one or whatever, we need some, like, speed lines. See, like, the yeah, second yeah, panel? Yeah. Like, he's, like, running toward Dobbs, and then he Dobbs crashes. Is, I, li I like that view of Dobbs. is dope from the from – the, uh, that three-quarter view of him is dope. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yo, so I just put I just put team here, and, and like, I put creator slash writer, creator – like, creators – Slash writers, slash artists, slash colorists, slash editors. Just us, our two names. That's it. Yo, Kev, this is this is a, a small thing, but this is what I want to happen on your fucking thing. And I'll, I'll even make the logo. It's like I want this little icon that when I talk to Kevin and there's no camera on, like this got to be like Orange Book Productions little little logo. Oh, oh my cool. camera's off. Yeah, your camera's off. So we got that's nothing cool. right now. <laughs> What were you saying before that? I kind of cut you off. You're saying artist, writer, something or other. Yeah, I, I just, I just put, um, I put fucking creators, writers, artists, colorists, and editors, like slash, 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 just to like, it's just yeah. we, we all the team, like we, we fucking. Well, did y'all, did y'all read what I put on my um, uh, Facebook? No, I didn't see it. For tonight, y'all didn't y'all didn't look at it. No, I'm never I'm never really on Facebook. Yeah, cause I put I I went on there and uh, while I was uh, while I had some time, you know, since my one of my clients goes and rides horses and stuff, so I had a little bit of time. So uh, on my Facebook, I went and posted. Uh, I put like uh, join me, uh, Anthony and Kevin. 
in uh, comic book creation live tonight, the creators of Albatross Junction. If you like comics, you love art, you love art, come and check us out tonight, 9 p.m. Central. It's the time. real art. Thank you, Mundo. Hell yeah, dude. I, I just checked. I didn't get an email about that. See, normally how I find things on Facebook is they'll send an email and say, um, you know, Mundo posted something, and I normally will yeah. see that email. That's crazy because uh, I posted it on there, and I have it linked. I have it linked to my um, to my others accounts and stuff, so that when I post to one, I post to the other. Cause like I get, I still get Facebook emails. Like I get like, like my mom has one here. That's like, you know, um, a sick dog that she like wants people to help. And it's like a sad looking dog. Like I get, I get those emails all the time. So I should get, mm -hmm. I should get the Mundo emails too. I don't get it. I get the sad dog emails, but I don't get the Mundo emails. <laughs> sad dog emails. Can't really help that many dogs. I could only kind of help my own dog. That's all I all I got really. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, um, I, I wanted to probably next week or so I might do a a live uh, TikTok for the for Albus Junction. Awesome. Yo, and let's we got to get. I'm on the perks part. Okay. You want me to read you so, anything or? The, yeah. Um. This is this is like this. I'm going with this list here. Yeah, so $25 is Albatross Junction Volume 1 signed. All right, gotcha. And that gotcha. includes uh, Albatross Junction Volume 1 signed by the artist and two trading cards and a poster, and that ships worldwide. Ships worldwide over here, motherfucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Motherfucking. You motherfuckies. What did they say in uh, Step Brothers? It's like something worldwide. Prestige. Prestige worldwide. Worldwide. <laughs> yeah. So Yo. I'm going to have to send you, send you, put in 50. Nah. Yeah. yeah. There's a $50 tier. You get 24 trading cards. You get the Albatross Junction Volume 1 signed. Actually, Mundo might think, like that one. 24 trading I think, cards. I think 24 trading cards is a lot, bro. I still think that's a lot. Yeah. 24 that's 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 crazy didn't didn't you get a pack of tens or some shit like that <laughs> like a sheet of trading cards yeah it's crazy i think i think we need to cut that down to 10 <laughs> that's already cutting costs but it's like all you get for 25 more bucks is is uh eight more trading cards no i'm saying i think we should just have 10 trading cards total I understand, but I'm, I'm saying uh, the difference between the $25 tier and the $50 tier, you're uh, saying is only basically eight trading cards because you're going to get two trading cards up to 25. So all you get is is uh, is like let's say it's 10 total trading cards. Uh, you would only get eight extra for the $25 extra you'd have to pay to get to the $50 tier, right? Yeah. So I don't know how much it costs, honestly, for printing trading cards. Because, like I said, we haven't done this before. But I kind of think we're we're we have a lot of artwork, and we we like we could accomplish twenty four trading cards. Um, mm -hmm. But maybe I mean I'm I'm up for like reducing it, but let's make it worthwhile because fifty dollars is a lot of money. Like that's double the price of the of just getting the book. So what else are you giving them? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So what if I think I say um, knock off the poster from the $25 one and put two posters on the $50 one with the trading cards? Well, that's okay, but I've been saying the whole time, like, do you think it's a bad lie that I've been saying the whole time on all these live shows, like, you're going to get a poster and you're going to get a trading card if you do the 25 No, I mean, all right, we could, we could do it. We could do it. Well, Maybe what maybe what you could do is go go back through some of the shows, see what you know. What now we're saying. always saying, um, and then and then tweak it from there, you know. Because once you once you actually find out what the cost is for the printing of the cards and the posters, then you can then you can make your decisions from there. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're we're, we're not close again, like. 
characters and shit on trading cards. A gut is telling me 24 is too much, though. Well, you know how your gut's like like the sickest part of you. <laughs> That's why, because it has all these it has all these like hunch. worries. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, if you want to be more realistic, like I guess you could. This is the time to do it. I I just think I I thought of that number, but uh, you know. I kind of think this is the way I think about it is that um, for every subsequent tier, you should give them whatever the previous tier had. So mm -hmm. like you said, if the $25 tier is going to have the poster, you know, maybe it doesn't if we cross that out. But if, if it does, then the, then $50 has to have the poster and then the 75 has to have the poster. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. What are you thinking about that? I mean, yeah, I agree with um, whatever the next level up is has to have the everything that was in the prior level, definitely. Okay. Yeah, like I'm thinking if someone does like the collector's tier, which like I write here has three signed copies of Albatross Junction Volume 1, all the trading cards and posters and an original sketch. So they will get like the $75 uh perk as well which is the original mm -hmm. sketch it's just that the 75 dollar perk is called original sketch tier or original sketch like level um but you will get that like at the collector's level of 99 as well that's the way i'm looking at it so like whatever the card total is if it's 20 or whatever the card total is and like the 75 will also get all those cards too yeah we kind of have to make it worthwhile to print the cards like to where you know we can't just print like 200 cards right we're going to need to print like a th at least a thousand cards if not five thousand cards if not you know yeah um it's kind of like you were saying it's almost like a business card size so i'm thinking you got to print like at least in a business card amount and you're always going to print at least a thousand business cards. Yo, we're saying uh, we're going to start shipping in June. So estimated delivery date would be what? You want to you want to say you want to say like July June fifteenth. You want to say June fifth? I mean, we just we just have to give the month. June. So when uh, June twenty 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 one. And so it start and it starts when when is the uh, opening of the. Tonight, baby. Tonight. Tonight. It's a launch party. Right now, you're part of it. It's you hear that, Monday. folks? You hear that? The launch party is tonight. So come <laughs> join us, guys. Come on. It is launching tonight, baby. Kevin is working on it as we speak. I figure it's a good plan to just... Uh, nobody's really like letting everyone know... Uh, every step of the way what's going on with with their comics that's what we're trying to do here at comic book creation mm -hmm. live is like show you every aspect of albatross junction including mm -hmm. the trials and tribs of uh setting up the indiegogo campaign which is what kevin is hard at work yeah doing right you now. know and and in my in, in my uh facebook uh what i did put in there was that y'all were the creators but y'all were also the ink inkers the colorists the creators all that good stuff i had put on there so i said you know i was all like i know i put all that in there <laughs> because i want i wanted to make sure that i told people that you know they they know that you guys are doing pretty much every aspect of the comic book itself you know it's just not one part of it you know yeah, we're doing it all we're doing it all goddamn Gina says, what other incentives were you thinking? Because you could tack on other random stuff like exclusive digital content. So let me let me read you. Gina, I, I was I was reading. I was kind of toying with that idea of digital content. We just wasn't exactly sure with what, what we were gonna um offer digitally. Yeah. Well, my my actually Kevin did mention something to me yesterday on our uh, we had a talk off off stream that was uh that was about like what we were going to maybe offer. And Kevin had a good idea to offer uh, maybe a digital version 
of the making of Albatross. Like and early then, sketches, concept to finish type deal? Yeah. Alternate, we were, we were alternate thinking panels of, I didn't get in, like alternate covers I didn't get in? Yeah, we were going to offer this uh, printed version of that same idea, which was going to be our second Indiegogo project, basically, before issue three and four came out uh, mm -hmm. next year. So we were thinking of doing some kind of like advanced copy of that that was going to be a PDF. Uh, I was just trying to decide of like, like to me, as soon as something's like a PDF or something, I feel like like that, like there's less value in it. In it, so I was kind of thinking, you know, thinking about it. I was also thinking about potentially uh and i told kevin about this too potentially making a story that was by uh that was in the albatross junction world but by other artists maybe like an exclusive eight page story and like uh and i was thinking maybe that could be digital you know and uh that could be maybe some kind of stretch goal where we'd have the money to pay these other artists if yeah, be dope. we reached a certain amount of, amount of so money. you know you know what i liked uh personally that, I, that i've gotten in the past sometimes um you know they just call it a digital dump like where you just get all these files of like shit that wasn't really produced like like stickers and all this other crap and i, I always like just seeing what how people went about just just saving their shit you know what i mean like mm -hmm. it'll be a folder that says stickers and you see all these stickers you're like oh shit this is crazy you see a folder that says screen savers you get a bunch of screen savers you're like <laughs> oh shit you know like cards like you gotta you can just get all the digital files but you don't i'm not really with just sending out digital files of all this shit like just to do what you want to do with it you know what i mean yeah, so I don't. That 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 has to be kind of reeled in somehow as well. Right. Oh, Gina likes your idea too. I think about the uh, about the digital book. That's a good idea. Someone who does a lot of those types of things. That's something I see a lot behind the scenes types of things, etc. Yeah, yeah sure. I mean, and I also think that that would actually boost our like kind of light a fire under our ass to uh, get that PDF done for the making of, and also that would mean we'd have a lot of the book done as well. So the making of book could kind of come mm -hmm. from that and be, be one of the, be one of the campaigns we do in a few months. Um, as soon as this one is done, we, you know, we could do kind of a making of, cause we have a lot from uh, basically 20 years worth of content that we could share. Mm -hmm. about, yeah, the, yeah. about the making of it and since we don't mind like showing you know spoilers and things like that because if you're watching this show then that kind of means maybe you want to see how things are made how things are done behind the scenes with the comic book and that kind of means some of the spoilers are going to uh going to come out but as far as a couple more uh tiers that we had we had like a comic book store owners tier which maybe uh, would have like 10 signed copies of, of Albatross Junction so that someone that wanted to put them in their local store would actually have an opportunity to do it without going on eBay and or going on uh, Indiegogo to buy $25 copies. Also, like Mundo was talking about before, like becoming a citizen of Quantum Heights or Pikeburg, some of the areas in Albatross Junction, they'll be uh, perks where you'll get all the trading cards and original sketch, but you'll also be put into Albatross Junction Volume 2. Okay. And then there's actually some... Uh, a bit, so we might want to watch it. There's some tiers at the uh, the end of the line that are like actually include pages or cover art. So Kevin's going to set that up to where uh pages are going to be available i think it's going to be 550 is a page and i mean i'm thinking i don't know how we're going to do it uh for choice but i'm thinking if we could allow a choice for which page that would that would be possible mm -hmm. and then the uh one of the top tiers would be actual uh painted cover you get the original artwork on canvas from an alternate painted cover by Kevin Cosme. So you will uh, only have one available of those. Oh, look at that, man. That's cool. Yeah, I'll be sick. Yeah. 
Mm. This is another good idea, Gene. It's got like small, easy things like social shout outs, put their name somewhere. Yeah, like maybe their name in the in the book have uh, that that should be part of those top tiers actually like in the thank you type of sections. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. It would probably like be even that. possible really to like include, that pick, right? like, thanking every everybody. I think that's possible. Because the book's going to be printed, like, it's, like, May. The uh, the whole campaign's over by then. We'll, we'll be able to do something like that. It's a great idea. Fact, I'm making a note of it right now. Yeah, our, our social media stuff is kind of weak right now. I kind of think it has to do with the fact that um, it's, this is our first campaign. I think once this campaign fulfills, Mm -hmm. then things will start to change a little bit there. So we'll have to see once I send out some like advanced copies and samples and stuff, I'd like to get some feedback by some people and see what they think of the first issue. So we'll see. And I'm going to start doing some prayers, man, that you guys meet your goal. So make sure that that's going to happen. Look at that. <laughs> Got oh yeah, my mom is gonna buy. Have to buy like two or three copies. We need to get those <laughs> those numbers up. She's gonna get a text tomorrow once Kevin gets this whole thing uh, set up tonight. Oh yeah, my my family will get some uh, some texts. They'll get some. I'll have to be begging them. It'll it'll have to be uh, up to cousins and family members. I think on this on this first uh, first edition. First first edition. Yeah. Yeah. Have to at least get the ball rolling with with uh, everybody like that. Yeah, it'll 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 roll, man. It'll roll. I mean, I I can see good things happening with it. It's intriguing. It's intriguing. At the least story is like so like uh, so long spanning that it just goes on and on for a while so i really was hoping to do uh many many issues of albatross junction like we have enough story to do like 200 issues so mm -hmm. kevin and i always talk about how we'll we'll just do it till we're like 90 you know to get all the <laughs> to get all the <laughs> 200 issues out and we'll try to increase the uh the time or you know decrease the time that it takes to put out a volume so it took a, about a year right to put out this maybe more more than a year once we started getting going to put out this uh volume one but i, I really hope to put out two volumes a year which would actually be uh four issues a year that would kind of be my goal I could streamline something uh and also not have the first issue be so many pages. Like this first issue, 64 pages, mm -hmm. or this first volume. So Kev, that's actually one thing you want to put in one of the headers or in one of the uh, descriptions is like, you know, 64 pages of yeah, that's artwork, right. 64 actual uh, pages. That doesn't include, you know, the cover and all that stuff and the extra content in the back. So that's, that's important to say. But other, other future issues won't be that long. They won't be like, you know, 64 pages. They'll be more reasonable, like 20 something page issues to be like 48 pages. But this first one took a little, took a little longer. I think it'll be better when we uh, get going. We'll be able to do a couple a year. Yeah, we do it down to 20 pages. I don't know, what is your mom's That'll have his Thank you, TK. 
Okay, well, this, this. Uh, yeah, TK. Pixon. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's kicking, dude, right? It's kicking. Love it. I mean, you just get the sense of being frozen right there in that big. Oh, nice. background is that right there that's a painting of kevin's oh nice i thought it kind of looked like something that was extraterrestrial or, or something you know like in the in a faraway like world so i was like oh this could be <laughs> one of our alien things and he's like whatever well the way i look at it it, it looks like uh what's happened after the sun exploded like you're seeing the <laughs> yeah. You, you're seeing it. You're seeing it like after it when it blows up, like it's starting to disappear. You know, like all the remnants of it are starting to disappear after the explosion. That looks pretty cool, though. Shit, that's pretty freaking nice, man. Imagine if Kevin did a painting of the Dybbuk. I think that'd be scary. Oh, I think it would be kick ass, dude. I think it would be kick ass. Man, once your once your comic gets popular, man, and Kevin do a a, a big ass painting of the Dybbuk. Woo. I bet he'd sell that for a pretty penny, man. Everybody Wing Chun tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that was so random. Uh, gotta make it fun. Gotta make it fun. Come on. It's Mundo Everybody. Monday, fucker. Everybody Mundo Monday, fucker. Tonight. Everybody Wing Chun. We get some uh, buckaroo bonsai going too. Remember that movie? Nah, buckaroo never bonsai. saw that one. What? <laughs> you ne Wait, 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 wait! You, you sci-fi people have not seen buckaroo bonsai. No. no. Oh shit! Okay, now you motherfuckers got homework. Better watch this shit. Is it good? It, it, it's funny, man. It, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's funny. I'm so like it makes me a little nervous that Kevin doesn't know what it is. It, it's trippy. It's trippy. It's an old freaking movie, dude. It's an old movie. I can't believe y'all have never watched it. I like that picture right there. That's that that that's a kick ass pick. I think that's one of the gonna be one of the posters or at least a trading card. Mm-hmm. 
Well, I like the motorcycle itself. I mean, I love motorcycles. So. Wish I had one, but <laughs> too late now. Why is it too late? Nah, well, because there's now I've gotten the hobby of <laughs> lightsabers. So <laughs> now I want a lot of lights. Well, I, I, I want to create a few lightsabers. I mean, I've got some ideas for lightsabers for myself, but you know. Yeah, same here. <laughs> Like one of one one of the uh, sabers that I wanna um, I wanna make I wanna put some deer skin uh, deer hide on it and some deer horns and call it the deer skin. That's awesome. I yeah. haven't seen that yet. I haven't seen it yet. You'd be the first. I know how I want it. I, I I'll. Uh, you know what? Maybe you could sketch it out for me. And and I'll show I'll I'll kind of give you an idea what I want it to look like, and then you can kind of see what what I I'm intending for. It. So I, you like dry I your own like deer so that it becomes like leather. No, it's I don't. Be like do a it. leather wrap or. No, it won't. Well, it won't be a leather wrap. I want the hide, the soft 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 hide of it. You know the softness of the of the skin or the the hide. But it's you know, not the, a leather wrap like the fur well no because i want to put uh, i want to tighten it with leather around it so that i could slip um kind of slip it off like a glove and put it back on so that way that way like if i have to replace batteries or whatever in the in the um in the saber it, it won't be so hard to take uh take apart and stuff you know what i mean so I've got I, I got some crazy ideas for sabers, man. I re I really have some freaking crazy ass saber ideas. But maybe you can like help me draw them out and stuff. Yeah, for sure. I think that'll be a lot of fun for both of us. But I need to get I need to get these freaking first uh, five five sabers from under my my shoe here and get them to work right and get get to make you've got sure five sabers can... going at once no not five i mean i have i want to do five so that i know i can be at least decent proficient at doing wiring up and stuff i mean right this first one it's just kicking my ass because you know, but i'll get it even if it kills me, I'm going to get it because I want to, if I can do things the right way and work this and get it proficient in, in wiring and stuff, then uh, some of the crazy sabers that I want to do, I think we'll have a lot of fun working on them together and stuff, you know. My ideas, your concept art. Oh my God. <laughs> Sounds good to me. You know what? Yeah. One I saw that I I like. They got it. I think on on Ultra Sabers is uh is the Lion O saber. Yeah, the Thundercat saber. That looks kind of cool. I like that. I've seen it, and I've seen it on on um on YouTube, and and how they got it to work and stuff, and it it, it was pretty good. Somebody did a good job on that. You know. It, unfortunately, it's it's home to the companies that you're not too fond of. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. That's why, like, maybe I'd get one off of, like, eBay someday or something. Like, especially if I saw, like, FET263 or somebody have a, uh, if they had a style that looked like, like, that was, like, that Thunder, Thunder, mm -hmm. Thundercats type of thing. Yeah that that operated that way because of the neo pixel it could work like it could look like that yeah like it and could I come think, out like partially you know every time yeah i kind of personally think that 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 hilt was just a little too big i think it could have been a little bit shorter it is it is too big you know 
So if somebody all was of just Ultra getting... Saber's hilts are too big. Yeah. Well, I think there's only one that's that's just just kind of right, actually. And like all that... those Padawan sabers are, are pretty good size, small. Well, like the prophecy, you know, the prophecy is is I think a decent a decent size saber. And then uh, also, I I mean, for me, I think the Ken and Jerris would be a decent size. I mean, you know, that would be to me. That would be the those would be the only two hilts that I would actually enjoy from that company. You know what I mean? I'd have to take a look at what what that one looks like. Does that look like Obi Wan style? Which one? The, the prophecy. The pro yeah. Well, actually, it kind of looked like um, Anakin's from, uh, was it number two, Clone Wars? Okay, I think I've held that one. I do like that. Yeah. Um, I, I, uh, I, I would like to get one eventually, um, because I really like the style of it. I thought if like I could... the Ultra Saber's Phantom Menace Obi Wan is too big. Uh huh. I don't know if you've seen that one. It's like it's pretty big. I have, and I've I've seen the comparisons between three or four different companies of that same hill, and yeah, it's it's like a giant compared to the, everybody else's. Like, man, why do you got to make it so big just because you want to be different? Yeah, I understand that, but that's just like too big. Maybe they want to make it easy for the install or something, but it's like it's like it's like I don't know. It's like too much. It's too too bulky. But there is a lot of room in there when you go to the install, so maybe that has something to do with it. Mm -hmm. See, once I get once I get the wiring uh, done for this one, then it just. Then I gotta figure out how I'm gonna put the uh, put the guts in the saber. But for right now, I gotta make sure everything works. Like you said, do it on the outside of the saber, and that's what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah actually, let me show you what I what I built. Um, just the other just the other day, that kind of helped me. Let me. Grab it from over here. See if you can see this. So it's a it's a pla it's a plastic box that like a battery came in, mm -hmm. or two batteries came in. Yeah, that that looks like the box from uh, uh what do you call it? Um, shit, the batteries the uh, the um twenty six six fifty. Did they come in this for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what this came uh twenty six six fifty. So I put a um. What is this? It's a NeoPixel strip inside uh -huh. a blade tube, just a short yeah. strip. And then this right. is a battery. And then I have the two little buttons that you sent me. Like I made this uh -huh. like the day after you sent me. Oh, cool. Um, so this is like a button here, like. Right. And a button here. And uh -huh. this is a little leather pouch. And this is a speaker. And then these are like the the battery and NeoPixel wires coming out of the of those components. So what uh -huh. I could do is like connect these wires to the board. So uh -huh. I got the speaker here, just a just a test speaker, a test battery, a little test strip, my activation, mm -hmm. my aux, and I could test the board right here and kind of leave it in the little pouch. And oh, I, I yeah, and then like that's what I did with the saber I made the other day. And then it, it worked great. So then I could also change the programming of the board and uh -huh. test that here and kind of sit it in the little leather pouch and like shake it around for like the whoa, 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 you know, make the sounds. 
And then wow. I disconnected all those things. And this only took me like an hour or two to make uh -huh. this, this little box because I kind of noticed I had those parts around. Um, right. So this is, I'm going to, I'm like going to connect every board to, to this. Um, I mean, it looks like a piece of junk, but it, or, it or works. Orbtronic, right? That's an Orbtronic box, right? Pr probably, yeah. It, I don't know if it says <laughs> that on there, but yeah, I think so because I well, ordered those. Yeah, so I, I still have, uh, I still have my Orbtronic. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm using for this right now is the Orbtronic uh, twenty six six fifty, and um, but like I said, I kind of, I, I kind of think it's my data line that might be a little messed up, and I'm gonna redo the data line and see if that works. You know, um, but if that if that's not it, then I'll go back to the drawing board and see what I did wrong. And but see, that's that's another thing is that since I'm such a noob at this, I can't really see what I'm doing wrong probably, and it's just gonna be trial and error until I really learn exactly what I'm looking for when I do something wrong. You know, but. it's all about finding those errors and fixing it. <laughs> that's with the whole processes i had an easy time of doing of wiring that 2.2 uh because i put yeah. up both the profi 2.2 i put up both uh mm -hmm. like there's two versions of the manual there's like one that looks like it's got like a sickly green background and that looks like the one made from frederick the guy who makes the profi board and then there's uh -huh. one made by dimitri that like you access it by going to facebook going like the profi page on facebook and clicking on the manual uh -huh. and uh i had both of those up and i was just like looking at both of them and wiring each wire and then it made no mistakes there was no mistakes so I was, whereas the first profi 2.2 i tried to wire i had some mistakes i still don't know what they were because it didn't work um uh -huh. But this this latest one, I just like took my time. I did it outside the saber in that little box I just showed you, and it actually yeah, worked yeah. on the first the first go. So I was like, "Holy shit, this is like Dude, an easy an easy one." <laughs> yeah, that's such a great idea, man. That's such a great idea, and I think I'm gonna do that as well. And yeah, just to have like your crappy components, because I think even Harris gave me that speaker off to the side. He's like, "Here, I think we like discarded it on one build, but at least we could use it to test." And then yeah. I had that that old battery, which is the 3.7, and it's not like a great battery, but it'll do the tests on a little strip. Yeah, and I've I've got I've got quite a few um, little speakers here too. So maybe, yeah, um, you know, I ordered these. Um, I think Amazon or something, man, and they work. They they're like they work pretty awesome. I mean, they sound great, you know. And so maybe can. give it a second here they kind of sound crappy unless there's a good resonance like in the hilt right like i have this outside the hilt and it sounds crappy mm -hmm. because i guess it's like not in it's not in any tube or anything yeah see but that's the only font that comes up and i don't know <laughs> See, and nothing else comes on. So I, I have the feeling that something. I, I have a feeling that it's a data, it's a data line. Cause TK asks, uh, do you have multiple soldering tips? Like I have the tips that came with my soldering gun, but I, I only use like one tip. You know, one I've, tip. I've, I've only used one tip. Uh, I haven't. I, I mean, tried I some that. of the ones that are like super, like like that little needly one that's like really thin. I don't like that one, and I don't think I like the ones that are too thick either. I like the one that's kind of in the middle of like a, almost like a, a semi-dull pencil tip is mm -hmm. kind of the thickness of it. Here you go. There's, there's my, my soldering tip right there. I think that's about the size that I have on mine, yeah. I just got a new soldering gun too. It's like a really nice one. Uh huh. Harris used it the other day when he was over. It worked really, really well. He said. So I'm still. I still was working all weekend on my regular soldering iron that I've been using for the past couple of years. But I will try yeah. the new one at some point. It's supposed to be uh, like the like the standard of people that do small hobby stuff. 
Yeah. Well, see, I I got mine right here, and I love mine because it's you can you can actually it's a Ryobi one. Um, see that? You could adjust the temp, yeah. Yeah, you can adjust the temp and stuff like that. The only thing that I don't like about this is the damn auto shut off sometimes. What do you mean? Uh, it's a it's a time limit. Yeah, because what it does it has a safety feature on it. Like if you don't solder for a good while, like about I think like maybe five minutes or a couple of minutes or something like that, right? But if you don't solder, it it kind of tends to go like in hibernation mode, so it'll it'll cool itself off. And uh, and then you got to press the button again to turn it back on. So it's kind of like a safety feature that if you forget to turn it off or whatever, it turns itself off. You don't burn the place down. <laughs> but it's a pain in the ass because every now and uh, a lot of times, if I'm not soldering right away, it, it'll it'll start the process of cooling down. And I'm like, shit. So I got to press the button to re wake it up a little bit. And it's a pain in the ass, though. But but I like that feature too because if I forget to um, if I forget to turn it off, it turns off automatically. TK says whenever I take apart Xbox uh, Azure computers, I like using different tips or clean tips. Um, but size really doesn't matter as long as they're clean. Yeah, yeah, I true. find the same thing. I was using a dirty tip for a really long time, and then my friend Jason came over and he like looked at my soldering station and he was like, "That's terrible, <laughs> it's so dirty." <laughs> so I ended up like replacing the whole gun and everything. And <laughs> I he actually showed me a different way to use it so it gets less dirty. He actually told me to take away the uh, the water step that I was using, like water on the sponge. And apparently oh. that's not good. He said this is what to do. It's like dip the soldering iron in the um, flux a little bit if you uh -huh. want. Then wipe it off on the uh, brass or copper, uh, like that dry spongy type of stuff that like steel wool, right? Yeah, yeah. And then go to the solder. And then put the you know put the solder on the on the pad that way. Really, and that's been working great for me for the past I guess year or two since he told me that two years. Really, and I need to, huh? I was using water like sponge with water, and he said that was part of what was destroying my tip. Really, that's I mean because that's what I do, but it, you know, uh, I mean it's like you have to be like very very. Not not very very damp, but like really light light moisture. I mean, like really light moisture. This, and you see, this is my how my dirty my pad gets. And you see how how dirty it gets. But I use like like maybe about five, six, seven, maybe eight drops of water. <laughs> oh, okay. Drunk. See, I think yeah. I was I would go overboard with a lot of my the way I would like brush off the uh -huh. tip of the soldering gun and maybe the amount mm -hmm. of flux I would use is kind of a mess. So uh -huh. I got this like better technique from Jason who's been doing I guess small uh soldering stuff for probably longer than me. He knows more than me about it. Right. He designs all my products for civilized savers and he uh Oh, cool. He gave me the, the low down. What's the worst enemy, TK? Is it water or just dirt? Rust is your worst enemy. Oops. <laughs> God. Kids are pissing mama off. Oh, really? <laughs> and they got school in the morning. <laughs> They're supposed to be in bed already. And then, of course, my my oldest man. She graduates in May, so it's like another another little party to get ready for. That's exciting. Yeah, it is. It is. 
So we'll see. She just uh, she just tried to uh, see if she can get into uh, Arlington um, uh, College in Arlington, Dallas, Texas. We'll see what happens. She gets in. I'll be proud, Daddy. I'm already proud, regardless. You know, she's graduating, so that's step one. Oh yeah, that rust is because of water. Yeah, my my soldering tips would get so disgusting. Now, now I I really clean them better. And you know what else I do? I replace the. Um, the steel wool thing like more often because like mine would get so grody and stuff the way I would do it. So I, I also replace that more, which I think helps get the gunk off of them. Mm -hmm. So Kev, do you got this uh, campaign? Do you need anything from me? I don't know what to say. Say no. Yeah, I'm, 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 it's a bunch of bullshit. It's so many fields I got to fill out. It's fucking <laughs> And yo, this out. I, I'm, I'm on um the second perk. I'm putting the second perk up, and it says uh trading cards. How many? I put 24. It says cannot exceed 10. Oh my god, really? That's a fucking <laughs> sign, bro. <laughs> there you go. That's yeah. weird. I don't understand that. Yeah, you want me to share the screen so you see what the hell I'm doing? Sure. All right. Oh uh, no, that's not it. Wrong screen, bro. <laughs> Share screen. Am I on here? What am I on here? This is opera. So this should be it here. Boom. Share screen. Got it. Yeah, so you see you see this right here? I put twenty four. Right there. Total quantity should not exceed ten. <laughs> I'm not lying to you, I'm not lying to you. Well, there you go. Now you know. <laughs> I'm not. Then, I'm not uh, understanding why there's a limit. Like... I, put, I put these things together, but it's not letting me upload them, which is um, which I, which is you know, it's always some bullshit. Look, see, it's just like network error occurred. So what, what I'm thinking is um, I'm gonna get out of this browser and go back to Chrome real quick, and see if I can take it from there. You know, sometimes it's just a browser error. Mm. Shit. Well, what if you lost your uh? Oh, cause you but but you save well, it along the way, it, right? Save it, yeah, save it, yeah. I see. I'm not. I'm not gonna log out of this. I'm just gonna go into it here. Pain in the ass, man. I believe it's always, it. It's always a thousand steps, man. It's never. Yeah, just I mean, fucking... maybe you could uh, set it up without like as much info, and then we could make it prettier uh, with all those but graphics. You need, you need the info to fucking launch, though. Yeah. Hold on. Hold up! Hold up! Holy something, man. That's an odd situation. But, you know, it just takes so much longer than you think to do anything. Everything, like, yeah, for everything. Anything. Whenever I sit down to do something like this weekend, I was like, oh, I'm going to get this, like, lightsaber totally done. And it's still not totally done. And it's just like I've been working <laughs> on this, this, this thing. And just like just like you, Munda, the same exact thing happens. Or... Uh, Anything you want to do, you want to like uh, shovel the snow that's out there. I go out there. Yeah. Okay, I'll maybe maybe I'll finish this in two hours, right, Kev? Like you come in it's huffing and puffing. It's still not done, and it was two and a half hours went by. Yeah, so that type of shit happens all the time. Yep. All right, so we share this window. Reserve funds. This. All right, all right, all right. Campaign. Yeah, so this Maybe is what the page looks like basics. when you are setting up your Indiegogo. So I, so I did the basics, did the content. You have blah, to have blah, these blah. graphics I'm ready. Doing, now I'm doing the perks. 
So I got one perk up there. Let's see if I can get the uh get the cause what I did too while I was over here quiet, I, I made I just I put all these together real quick. Like some of that. I knew Kev was performing magic. <laughs> I didn't know specifically what kind. <laughs> I just realized what the problem might have been because they were CMYK rookie mistake, rookie mistake, Bush League. <laughs> Yo, give me uh give me like a uh, hundred seconds. You guys be right back. One, two, <laughs> four. <laughs> Yo, that's 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 a direct effect from living with six year olds, man. Yeah, I'm like, baby, I'll be right there. Give me twelve seconds. One. Two, yep. three. I'm like, what? I'm like, are you really counting? Then they yep. Four. You five. said, <laughs> and that's their that's their answer for everything, right? Everything, right? everything. And then I mean, you like said, said they're only six, bro. So it's like it's like everything is literal. Give me two minutes. How long is two minutes? I'm like, what do you mean? How long? It's two minutes. What what are you talking about? I'm like, it's 120 <laughs> seconds. One, <laughs> two, three. Like, oh my god. <laughs> like really. It's like yeah, they're the best and the worst, man. Yeah, the oh my god, best my, and the worst. one of my one of my guys was driving me nuts today, man. And I had poor guy, man. I had to kind of ignore him a little bit because every yeah, that, fight... that's, that's my thing. I don't like I don't like ignoring like issues or people. You know what I'm saying? It no, no, well, wrong. but sometimes no, but sometimes you have to, bro. Like you have yeah, to keep your head on. You straight. have to. Because here's the thing, you know, I, I mean, I, I, I love my individuals to death, you know what I mean? But sometimes it's like, geez, and uh, he's, he, you know, he's very obsessive about certain things, right? Mm -hmm. And all day long, every two minutes, bro, every two minutes, he's talking about going flying, like, in a plane or like flying, flying? Like going bye-bye, you know, like, yeah, kind of like... Oh, like yeah, somebody's yeah. gonna take him somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah. He like fly, 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 mama, fly. Oh, yeah, I mean, just keep going. oh my god, every two minutes, man. This every is your whole shift minutes. today? It was your whole shift? My whole shift. My whole shift. <laughs> you feel you this is... feel like a bad guy because you just start to get filled with like rage. You're like, oh my god, just give me two oh. minutes. I'm all like, my gosh. I'm all like, and, and every now and then I'll redirect him. Hey, movie, movie, yeah, movie, yeah. you know, and and it's like sometimes I'm doing paperwork and he's trying to get my attention, like, listen to me, you know, but he's saying the same thing over and over again because he's that uh, compulsive, obsessive compulsive, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm all like, oh, dude, come on, man. And so you're he'll be break. saying, he'll be saying the same thing. And I'm over here doing my paperwork, just trying to shut him out. And I and it's like I, I I hear what he I hear what he's saying, I understand what he's saying, and I and I acknowledge what he's saying every every so like every hour or so, right? Or maybe every forty five minutes to an hour, because I do acknowledge you know no matter what they do, I I acknowledge what they what they say or need to say or trying to get across yeah. to me. Yeah, you have to. you know. I'm, I'm very engaging with my individuals, you know, because I like to keep them busy and and doing things, keep their mind busy or whatever. And a lot of times it just doesn't work, but a lot of times it does. So it's, you know, it, it balances out and stuff like that. And, uh, and you know, the poor guy, I mean, he can't help himself. And I understand that. Yeah. But it's just sometimes he, he doesn't understand that sometimes too much is too much. And um, and the only thing that I can do is to kind of uh, block his, you know, what he's saying out of my mind in order to get some things done. <laughs> a lot of times I can fall back on my paperwork and I'm here trying to catch up with paperwork because I'm listening to him. I'm doing, taking care of this situation with another individual. And because, you know, when you got about eight people in your room and you're like going back and forth to each one of them, it's crazy, dude. Yeah, they give me flashbacks to when my um my kids were about like one and a half, two years old. So they they were they were <laughs> preemies, the twins, right? 
so there's something there's something like uh there was like a like a minor condition my boy had when he was a kid like where he just couldn't shut things off and once he had something in his mind like like it didn't matter what it was like if he was crying he would cry for an hour just because he was crying you know what i mean mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. if he's asking for something and he didn't have it he would ask you for an hour so so a lot of times he um whatever my daughter was playing with he wanted it mm -hmm. and he would just he would just say nothing but i want it i want it i want it I want it. Like, hey, have it. And then he'll choke it up. Like, I want it. I want it. I want it. I mean, it got to the point where you would give it to him and he's still with it, crying. I want it. I want it. Yeah. I, 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 I wanted to pick him up and punt him. Like, I wanted to stop. Like, kick the baby. Kick the baby. Yo, it was, it was, yo, you would go, you would go crazy. Like, you would be like, I love this little boy born or anything, but you would go, you would go crazy. And I, I would, yeah. I would fully, un this is going to sound so wrong, but I would fully understand like all those horrible stories where you hear moms going crazy and like putting their hands over their kid's mouth and like yeah. they accidentally suffocate them, bro. Like you go, you get that crazy. You get that, you go. Imagine that for an hour. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want yeah. it. They could drive you crazy. Yo, you go, I mean, you lose, you legit lose it. I remember one time, um, the only time like where, I mean, it was like the only time man, in, in their whole life that I, 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 like I lost it. I just walked out the house. I just walked out and I'm standing there and like, it was like a godsend. My, um, my neighbor pulled in and she just looked at me, right? She just stayed because mm -hmm. I was alone. Like my wife wouldn't get home to like 8.39 ish. So she was just looking at me and she was like, I'll, I'll be right over. I was like, for real? I was like, really? <laughs> like, <laughs> you, you just, like, you're going to walk into this on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> yo, and she came through and just put them to bed, man. I was like, "Yo, this is a, you're amazing." Thank Dude, you. Yeah, that that, that, that is that. that is God sent. Man. Yo, I'm telling you, but I'm telling you, as soon as God, God outside, sent and you she, love, she pulled man. in, bro. She pulled in, just saw my face. She was like, "Oh, okay, I'll, I'll be right over." I was like, "I was like, what? I didn't even say anything to you. I would never even ask you to do this." It was crazy. Yo, was crazy. I'm um I'm worried about this fifty dollar tier with the ten like with the like, what else can we put in? Besides the ten cards, um, and the poster to make it set it apart from the twenty-five. This was the first. This was the first issue we had tonight, right? Yeah. It was signed. Boom, boom, and then wait, wait, wait. wait. So I got, I got the list here. So and then from the fifty to seventy-five, you add the original sketch. So why don't we just do away with the um fifty? Do away with the fifty, or or we could do away with the seventy-five and just include the ten cards and the original sketch. In the fifty. In the fifty. What are you processing? What are you processing? What are you processing? So how like, about we make it sixty? Okay, I think I think that that makes more sense maybe to get rid of the 75 but make the 50 a 60 but put the yeah, put the uh, original sketch oh, exactly. and there's only 10 trading cards now because of some reason I don't know that why. Like I, I think that that's some kind of glitch. That doesn't make sense. That was 10 trading cards only what? <laughs> why why did they choose that? Quality behind the scenes decision we've made since last October. Poster one, boom, and then uh, original sketch, boom. The one thing I do like about this this setup is um, see how I'm, I'm adding an item, original sketch. Mm -hmm. So like that's gonna be added to the drop down list, so I don't always have to type this in. I can just pick it from the drop down list now. Oh, awesome! So yeah, so when they when they do get those repeated items yeah. for every single time they'll yeah, so I just see they'll get it cool. okay wonderful yeah which is cool which is cool that's one boom description i mean i don't i don't understand i'm not i don't have any description i just put I just no but you it. have to put something because like you know let me i could i could show the uh um or if, if you have it up on your screen and you want to click over but you know we have these ones that you like like thomas moria right uh -huh. So let me see what it says for this. Like this is called Wizard for Hire, and, and you really like this one. So they have uh, the title for oh, the no, perk. Wait. I'm sorry. What? I mean, because I just oh. I had a bad realization. That I got to go through all these damn PSDs and get rid of the 24 cards. <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah, the title oh. I have is what? Well, I, I'm just trying to figure out like what the information here is. So it's like the title that you typed in. So it would be like single graphic novel is what she has. 
Uh, $25 USD. Okay, so yeah, I guess there's really no description there. Like the de the description is the title, right? So you you like you put yeah, like, like yeah, sign get... copy whatever. Yeah, like like get out of here. The signed Green edition. Cards. And in this, so we put times three sets. Well, y'all gonna be doing a lot of signing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope good. so, Muno. Uh, I, I feel it, man. I feel it. I, there is no disturbance in the force. There is only the It was force. crazy. I followed this one artist who kind of um I caught him on his way up, like 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 where he was just about to blow up. And uh he started getting more attention and more attention and more attention. Then he started getting like collaborations with like Cadillac and things like that. Then he started getting bigger and bigger collaborations to the point where he got his own poster and his own signing. And um, it was the mm -hmm. same thing where it, it was like, it was something ridiculous. It was like 18,000 posters. And he was like, yo, I got to sit here until this is all done. Like, I got to, it's like, you know, it's, I, I, you know I dreamed of, <laughs> he was like, oh, yo, I dreamed of this. I prayed for this. So it's like, the, I, there's not one bit of me that's going to complain. I'm going to sit here and sign all of these. Dude, I would man. love to meet up with <laughs> Kevin and sign all these books. That'd be sick. Eighteen thousand, bro. Eighteen thousand. Shit, dude. I, I, I feel it's gonna be. You know, I, I think it's gonna blow up, man. I really do. I'll be I, happy I mean, if I sign eighteen. It's, it's. <laughs> you know, well, here, here's the thing. I mean, here's the thing, guys. I mean, it's, it's such a unique story, you know. And, and not, and I'm not saying this just because I'm part of it, you know, in, in, in the story and stuff, but, you know. You, the concept that you guys put in there, the characters that you put in there, and this is excluding me. I mean, uh, you know, I, I'm seeing it from as I've never even heard of it, never even been in it, never even thought about it, you know. And if I was to see it on a bookshelf uh, in a comic book store, I probably would pick it up. I mean, simply because... Um, of, of some of the concept art that I've seen and if I even if I never knew you guys and it and it was down this way I probably would pick it up and um, and just because the story is so original from from a lot of other stories that you see man that's why you the man Mundo <laughs> I try to keep it real I try to keep it real <laughs> Uh, well, and, and see, and I have to look at it objectively. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, you know, he, he, uh, aside from me being in, in in the comic book, but my projections, my, the way I look at it is if I'm me, the comic book collector, wants to look at it and see what kind of story it is, is it is it worth getting into? Is it worth my time to to see what's going on in this world you know and for those people who enjoy art who enjoy comics such as myself but in, and I speak for a few uh, you know some people that may enjoy the same things I'm not I'm not directly speaking for them but as a person like them you know, they want to see great art. They want to see what kind of story, if it's going to grasp them and stuff like that. And, you know, always, always collectors of comics and stuff like that. They're looking for original stories. They're looking for yeah, yeah. something that's different. different, different. And, and you guys provide that. You guys provide that. It's pretty wild. It, I mean, it is. <laughs> it's a wild ride. And I don't see, I don't see too many stories with a lot of frozen worlds and a lot of frozen this and the frozen that with technology in between all of it. So, I mean, no, most most stories deal with tropical, hot, regular climates. I mean, most stories. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. That that, that was a turn off for me, man. Like, like the client is a char the climate is a character. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm trying, I'm trying to make it one, and it definitely is one. Speaking and of, that's what, with um, 
we can play the trailer since this is like the launch the launch stream um, yeah we can just play the trailer for whoever's watching this is albatross junction first trailer and there's there is going to be a second trailer in about 30 days we'll have a continuation of this, which is the precursor to our story. The sun is gone. A voyage to a faraway world ends. Tragedy. One last chance for survival is found on an unlikely planet. Genetic material brought back could change the future of our world. Albatross Junction. Yo, Matt, Matt, Matt is serious. He's a serious dude, yo. Really, man. He doesn't, wow. he doesn't, he didn't take any of this shit lightly. Man. It's a story about uh sci-fi, it's a story about other planets, it's a story about people, it's a story about uh the future world, it's a story about monsters. Monsters. You're a monster. <laughs> Let's do the monster mash. I love that fucking song. You're a monster. That is great, man. You're a yeah, monster. I think, I think I'm gonna put together my little um, not trailer. I don't know. I don't, it's just it's just a visual something that I have an idea for that I'm gonna do. Like, why not? Why the fuck not? <laughs> do it. From the creators of Albatross Junction, That's Anthony it. and Kevin. Do it. Slammers. <laughs> Remember Slammers. What are Slammers? Slammers? <laughs> Sounds like a slider. Sliders. I'm just, Kevin's I'm just trying not to go to the home. Slammer. You yeah, know, man, technically, technically, well. it's my birthday over there right now. Yo, Mundo's birthday. Yeah. Half hour in. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. See, because it's mid. It, it's almost twelve thirty over there, right? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. About this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for you, for you. Let's see. Wait, Sir, wait a second, Kev. You got to work. Don't worry. I got. I, I got. I got my cup we'll here. Do it on the it, I know it's got. It's got to be empty. Here. Are you going to work, Mundo? Hmm. Are you going to work tomorrow? Oh yeah, I gotta go to work tomorrow, bro. Oh, the nerve of you. They don't sir. have any respect for Mundo's but, birthday over there. What is it? I don't understand. But what's, what's, but, what's your, what's, but what's your I'm only. Hmm. What's your office's number? I'm calling him. <laughs> Salud. Uh, Happy birthday, Mundo. Salud. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out. I'm going to find wait. out. Did you just go go, go, go? <laughs> yeah, wait. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tomorrow tomorrow I'm going to find out from actually the uh the nurses if uh if I can have a if a shot will fuck up the the shot. Oh, for... I thought I thought you were going to find out if that rash is going to clear gonna up. Fuck up my birthday oh, party. My God. <laughs> <laughs> See if that yeah. anal rash would ever clear that, up. It, 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 it's the <laughs> Can you it's check over there where I can't reach? I can't see without a mirror. <laughs> God damn it! All I need is some whiskey. Shit, that'll clear up every fucking. That'll clear thing up there. every fucking thing, man. 
Yeah. I no, so tomorrow before I check it. <laughs> tomorrow before I take the COVID shot, the second half of it, I will ask the nurses if a shot of whiskey will um, hinder the effects of the COVID. Shot. Is it possible that this whiskey shot could counteract the effects of my COVID vaccine part number two? But hey, hey, so listen. No. You, gotta say, you gotta say, listen here, sweet thing. Is this shot of whiskey gonna fuck me up? Well, it's gonna <laughs> fuck me up, but is it gonna fuck me up? <laughs> <laughs> Can hey, I get fucked up after getting fucked up? Is I that the question? Up if I try to get fucked up with whiskey. <laughs> Thank you, okay. sweetness. Yeah. Y'all come back now. Yeah. Y'all come back now, yeah. <laughs> I'll be eating like Jethro tomorrow. No, I get out at 4 o'clock tomorrow, hopefully. God willing. You're supposed to get out at 2 o'clock. You'll bro. be out at a happy hour? I want, I want to get out at 2 o'clock, but it's not going to be possible. Oh, my God. This is this is disappointing, bro. Mm. You know what happens at 4 o'clock? Off to the road here. <laughs> you know what happens at 420? You know what happens at 420? <laughs> oh my god. Yo, that 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 makes me so uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but hold on. We didn't, we, didn't, we didn't find out what slammers is, man. What is slammers? Oh wait. Remember slammers. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> oh, you you can't, you can't leave right when we say what it was, Slammers. <laughs> slammers. Didn't make the man wait five minutes, though. Wait, are these those pog caps? I don't even know what a pog cap is. They're like caps that you collect. Let's see if I can share this. This shit is taking forever, bro. Hey, what are you doing? Just get busy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, kid. He's like, get busy. Fuck. Let's get busy. Hey, what the fuck you do? You know what these things are? I have what is that? No. Hog. Look, they look like buttons. They look like buttons. Yeah. <laughs> Hogs were the greatest, Gina says. They are they were the greatest. Gina. Gina knows. TK Boomer says, What you bugging for? I'm right here. Say, what the fuck, Kev? I'm right here, Kev. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what pog slammers are. What do you do with these? You like you like have some crazy game with them? I think every like... time you drink, you slam one down on the table. Um uh, it's just a collector's thing. You put your Probably best so. art on it, and people collect the hell out of them. Oh, now I'm disappointed in in past Kev. I, I didn't. I had no idea. How do you not know <laughs> about this? <laughs> no, I didn't know about it until a couple of seconds ago. You should throw them at somebody. <laughs> yeah. These Gee, are like wanna, flare. Wanna, These I are wanna, like damn. Gina's got I wanna, some. I I want to go through Gina's junk drawer because I'm sure there's some <laughs> gems in there. <laughs> I pride myself on my junk. I think I have good junk. I have but great then junk. again, you know, like all the people with junk think that their junk is really good. Like when I used to watch the uh, Hoarders show, there was oh. one lady. She had like a dead cat underneath a pile of newspapers. Jesus Christ. I saw that, and man. She called it her treasure. She's like, oh. they were like, we're going to get rid of all your shit now. And she's like, but these are my treasures. That was so, so like bad. everyone, I realized then. That everyone thinks their junk is the best junk, like including well, man, yeah. They're like, no, like uh, there's a dead cat under there, and she's like, "But it's my treasure." <laughs> you need junk like this, man. Oh, that's fire! I have painted. Yo, you have food. everything next to you, bro, and like, and like, a <laughs> it's crazy. I told you because it's we're moving, man. So everything like, right close by. And poor Guido, I got Guido. Somebody should shoot the hell out of him. You know. There was a few gimmicks that like Kevin was thinking of early earlier on, like years ago, maybe a year ago, 
that uh, I, I just don't know how to make it work or exactly all the ideas, but wasn't there some ideas that they were like um, some kind of ice where the cover looked like ice or, you know, those like one of those things might be like a, a stretch goal, like having the cover looking like it was made out of ice somehow. Um, oh, kind dude, of that would be I oh, forgot there was man. a couple ideas Kevin had, like, oh, we'll ship it this way, or, you know, we'll sh it'll, like, I think one of my ideas was, like, you know, you open the box and, like, smoke comes out. I, you know, I don't, I just don't know if this shit's legal. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, it actually would be kind of cool, though, is if, um, if your goal bar, um, like, it's, like, red to indicate the hot, and then as it gets closer and closer to the, to your goal, you get the the freezing Ice. effect. Yeah, it starts icing up. That'd be cool. A custom custom uh, bar. Yo, yo, and yeah. I just uh, figured the work around. When they said um, total items shouldn't exceed ten, it they meant total, like meaning like you can't have two posters, three t shirts. Like they don't want all that. Oh, packaging. I knew it was it had to be something like. So that what I'm gonna do understand. is in the item name, I'm gonna say total cards full set times twenty four. Oh, and that'll just okay. be one, like one. You're getting that once. Like, fuck out of here. Okay, so you'll go back to instead of the sixty, you'll go yeah, back to yeah, the fifty go and back the seventy-five. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They'll, they'll do all that dumb shit again. Holy shit! Yeah. Mundo but, 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 is wow. getting more excited now. But now, <laughs> now I got to go back to the PSD, and, and I, now I got to redo all that PSD shit again, though. That I just spent. PSD. The last Why are you putting all that shit in the PSD? Oh, because you because you got to. No, do you mean you you overwrought? What you wrote? Yeah, hell yeah, overwrought what I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep yeah, those files up. Back it's overwritten, overwritten. God damn, man. You know, we know that there's, there's just always like. Uh, Let's just keep it ten, bro. Come on. <laughs> so just, there's always hundreds of books of comics. And obviously, there are hundreds of books and comics. And but there, yes, but there's only one Albatross Junction. Well, this is the thing like I I saw <laughs> in someone else's campaign was that like oh. when they wanted to go and change it, mm. like like let's say um they had a tier that they no longer wanted to all like offer exactly that they wanted to add something, mm -hmm. they had to delete the tier because like there was no way to like um Yeah, yeah, you can't adjust the tier. And yeah, and there, and there was like cases where like someone had claimed it. So like, let's say there was like a tier where like one person had claimed it, then like you cannot delete it. Mm -hmm. So I, I think yeah, this is like an that. important part is to get this right. So I don't know what's right. Well, let me tell you. Let me show you my fear. More, let me show you my fear. Get it right. We we haven't gotten any estimates on these cards, right? So we mm -hmm. might come to find out that they might have like you know fucking. I don't know, eight on a sheet or whatever. whatever. I don't know how they do it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, doing 24 separate ones, that's just, that's already double the price of 10. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 and I don't think 20, I don't, we don't need 24. 24, like if I get 24 cards, I don't, that's a lot, bro. That's, that's, a, that's a big stack. That's yeah, but can, can it cards. be like, like, you know, like a sheet of paper, like whatever size it is, it's like, two feet by four feet like whatever the fuck the size is that go in the big i don't even know if it's going to go in a big machine but can it be like um you know it's like our piece of artwork that gets printed is like the panel of 24 then it gets chopped so it's like the sheet is 24. yeah yeah i don't, I don't know you still get your bang for or your the buck sheet is 12 and 12. If you have two up, you know what I'm saying, rather than just mm -hmm. one of each on a sheet. Mm -hmm. I just don't think 24 is necessary. What do y'all think? I don't think 24 is necessary. Whenever I've gotten trading cards from anything, I've, they weren't 24 unless unless it was a game made of like, made of like the cards. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or or if it was like Boris Vallejo collectibles, then you had like 60 because this dude had books of artwork. Yeah, I, mean, I was trying to make like that tier, that fifty dollar tier, be the card tier. Or you, or you that's can what have it's all it. about. Well, you can have it set up. Maybe, maybe you can have it set up where, like, you get the ten, then you get the twenty. You have it break break down. You know where you get, like, yeah, I don't uh, know. I don't, I don't. I don't. I just. I just. I don't know. I'm just not feeling twenty four different fucking cards. That's like a whole project. And it's like, 
I if agree. We were make, if we were making a trading card company, we would be stressed out to make 24 trading cards by just because the only thing play there. Mm. But now this is just a small part of like a oh, such bigger plate. And it's not it's not a small part because it's 24 fucking cards. 24 cards is a lot, bro. That's a project and a half. And we're I not think even you there. already have a lot of that artwork though. Like there's so many uh I just like think. I at the beginning of the show, all that artwork that we showed of ours is potential cards. I just think, I just think ten is fucking. I think ten is amazing. Ten, fuck, ten cards is amazing. <laughs> ten, <laughs> ten cards. But amazing. that's only. How about twelve? Uh, twelve is fucking incredible. <laughs> All right, I, I, okay. I think twelve sounds better because that means it's ten more for the fifty. Dollar, like if you keep the tiers the same. I thought, I, thought, I thought we're gonna stay with the sixty dollars tier and not the fifty dollars. Oh, okay, however you want to work it, I really don't care. No, you well, care. No, I just want to be correct. You care, bro. You care, just bro. Come, <laughs> come correct. Well, let let me know so that I mean, let me know so that way I can I can. Go for yeah, I mean, you know my stance on it already is I want to produce 24 cards and like, you know, make like six of yeah, them but, be but, like location, six of them be like character cards, six of them be like monsters or, you know, something yeah, it's else. It's a lot, you bro. Know? It's a lot. It's a lot, bro. But you know, like... Like vehicles. Like, like you, like Ant would OD and Kevin won't do enough. So we got to like <laughs> find the balance. <laughs> and that's the truth. That's the fucking truth. That is the truth. Well, you know, if you if you keep it the way you have it with the with the uh, sketch and the cards, that's enough for the sixty. I just want to make sure people get enough, get get like a yeah. good amount of and stuff. Plus I th th yeah, I think yeah, I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Hell yes, enough. Hell yes, enough. Hell yes, enough. Hey, 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 hey. Because <laughs> it, it's hold almost hold like on. you know, like if the first campaign that people do, like this being our first campaign, if it's not uh, like a, a huge success. Um, which they usually aren't, right? For the first campaign, um, it pretty much seems like we're going to be paying for. Um, maybe we're going to have to put in, you know, something for the for the printing. Maybe it's not going to cover. Um, no, no, yeah, that, that's exactly my point. Like, we're cut, making it ten cards already cuts that in half. Okay, I mean, yeah, I, I was kind of think like my thinking because you kind of know how I think already. Which is, you know, regarding money is probably not too realistic. But like, I was thinking, well, since we're paying for a lot of the printing ourselves anyway, like, what's a couple extra cards? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. And I, I, I've also seen you just swipe a ridiculous amount of money, just like, yeah, I'll, it'll get paid for. Like, don't worry about that. <laughs> I'm worried about it, bro. I'm worried about it. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. There we go, man. There we go. I got so many windows open. It's fucking stupid. Whatever it takes. Yeah, you, you be, be a window. Real. Kevin, Always you be a, never Kevin. surrender. <laughs> Kevin's being a window whore right now. Yo, I'm a window <laughs> whore, bro. You don't understand. I got no blinds in any of my windows, bro. That's not what you mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 I will be doing <laughs> 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 oh, <man. laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that details where we at. Oh. <laughs> but see, that's that's why it's good when we get together, man, because we can laugh though. Gotta so, laugh, man. You gotta laugh. Got to, got to, man. Got you to got to laugh, man. Life's too fucking short. Gotta laugh. You hear that, people? Gotta laugh. Life's too fucking short, man. Make room, make time for your laughter in your life. That is a fucking quote and a half, let me tell you. You, you know, know if people to... don't laugh, should you kick them to the curb? Nah, man. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Kick them to the curb. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Get the fuck out of here. I don't need you. Yo, yeah, so like, I I got my kids acting like um little psychos, man, cause like, like my little boy could go into like a fucking 
just a negative spiral, bro, and just think he's the worst for no reason. He's he's horrible. He'll be like, oh, I'm never gonna get it, and I can't do. It. I'm like, yo, I'm like, why? Is this, why is this a part of you, bro? Why do you go like? Why are you so down? Like, what's what the fuck? So anyway, so I'm like, yo, if you if you're feeling bad instead of feeling bad, just just laugh, just fake laugh until it becomes a real laugh, and that's that, that'll set off that'll set off <laughs> the body. Teach him to be the Joker. Laugh, you know what I'm saying, yeah. So I just start laughing in his face until he really starts laughing. Then my, my wife comes in and she's like, "Jesus fucking Christ!" Like, 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 what? What? Is, like, who's my family? Cause, I, cause, I, cause, like, I got, I got this little boy in my hand. I'm, I, my hand. I'm just like, <laughs> until he's fucking like, he's like, to, he's like, I don't want to laugh. And he starts laughing finally and shit. And then my daughter <laughs> her, dancing around is like, "Oh, daddy's laughing, daddy's laughing, doing little kid dances and shit. Daddy's laughing, daddy's laughing. It's fucking it's stupid. It's so stupid. Like the random shit that goes on in this house." This is all, it's all quarantine shit, bro. It's making people crazy. Oh, and random shit is what makes a world go round, though, dude. Seriously. Well, I would not want to like be um, like in a school time like during this, because like especially the school time, school years that I loved. Like, let's say they they were high school years or whatever that I was having a great time. This would have fucking. Oh my god, this would have. <laughs> this would have sent me in a spiral. I would have been like, "Fuck <laughs> that!" If the high school's closed and all that shit, oh my god, I would have fucking like, "What are you supposed to do?" <laughs> oh, <laughs> and shut, shut up, man! Because you know you'd be drawing all over the place and this and that. Yeah, I was like yeah. drawing in the in the summer and stuff, but I wanted to see my friends. Uh, that would have been rough. I feel I feel the worst for um student athletes that were you know senior year and they they can't yeah play. yeah oh that's the especially, worst yeah especially that's the, the ones that aren't gonna get picked up by colleges and they know it yeah <laughs> that's a like glory glory moment <laughs> yeah. like, well like like, like my daughter like my daughter who's graduating this year right they didn't they didn't get like the senior dance and that's stuff not right like that. man that's not right yeah. bro, that hurts. And it's like, uh, I'm so sorry that she gets to miss out on that. That time. sucks, bro. That sucks. You know, that 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 kind of fun time. Like some kids didn't go to the prom. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's crazy. Yeah, no prom. Yeah, we they didn't have a prom either. So it's like shit. That's crazy, man. I didn't go to mine though. <laughs> I was too busy drinking. I went to mine. I definitely went to mine. I should have gone to mine. Mine was crazy. It was crazy. I didn't know how to act. But I was too wasted to go to mine. <laughs> I was cutting up getting toasted, man, big time. <laughs> well shit. I mean, back back when I was like super young in high school, dude, I could kill an eighteen pack plus a bottle. What? Yep. I was uh, drinking it again in high school. You could do in, what in, in high school? I could kill an 18 pack plus a bottle, bro. A bottle of what? Like a fifth? Oh man, damn. No, I wasn't. Jack. I wasn't on. I wasn't Jack. on hard looking and, and Jack, Jack, like in by the time I was 18, like high school 18, no, because high school 18 is different from college 18, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So high school eighteen, I would do like two forty ounces and maybe a blunt to the face and be good. Like, oh yeah, I'm good. Oh yeah, I'm good. Knowing I'm damn, I'm damn sure I ain't good at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then we, I mean, then we, man, when we had fucking parties, dude, like that jungle juice, we had, we this, had. This is still high school. You talking about, bro? High school, high school. Fucking savage. You were a savage. Dude. <laughs> we would have. You, okay, here's the thing. You know those big, huge uh, fishing ice um, ice coolers? Yeah. We would fill about five of those full of jungle juice, bro. And people be killing it. That's crazy. Five of them fuckers full to the brim. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why you, and, that's why you're such a nice guy now, bro. You got all the and, devil out of you. <laughs> 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 Probably so, man. Probably so. <laughs> oh my god. He's born again. This... Born again. Oh my gosh. I tell you, some of the stories are, are hilarious, man. My 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 buddy that passed away, dude. I'll tell you one of the funniest moments in my life was so funny. That motherfucker done pissed on electrified fence. 
Oh, did did this did, did like the stream get like <laughs> active and shit? Don't cross the streams. <laughs> Don't cross the streams, man. <laughs> oh my Don't god. Do. It was funny though. It was he didn't electrocute himself, but it was funny. And we uh we actually were out at a uh, somebody's property and uh party was going on and the cops raided it, dude. And uh he ended up he ended up in a I don't know how the fuck he did, but he ended up in a cactus patch hiding. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I felt sorry for him. Oh my god. My best friend, man. My best friend. Such such great times with him, dude. Such great times with cactus him. Cactus patch though, that sounds that sounds rough. Yeah. It was. <laughs> Oh, I gotta man. step he away for a second while I escort this uh, mofo uh, through the back door. You gotta escort <laughs> your escort home. <laughs> <laughs> An escort for the escort? What? <laughs> nice. He like nice. doesn't want to walk through this uh, snow over here. The dog. Be right back. Mm -hmm. uh, funny. Oh, that's right. Yeah, my dog didn't want to walk through the snow. It's weird if they if they're not if he's not on grass, he doesn't want to take a dump. So I gotta like, I gotta dig a patch of grass where you can smell it. And sometimes that patch of grass ain't good enough. He'll smell it and then look at me like, <laughs> like this ain't it, bro. Like I need, come on. <laughs> He's like, like, hey, I'm holding it, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like holding. It. Then I'll dig another circle of grass. He'll smell that one. Then he'll finally look at me like, like, all right. He'll do a little circle. Like, oh. Then I got it. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. It's like, yo, animals are nuts. <laughs> That's funny. Animals are nuts. Hey, and he got you. He got you uh, like digging like five different holes. Yeah, man. They got you. They got me controlled. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny as hell. Oh man. my god, that's funny as hell. It's funny as hell. What are you gonna do though? What are you gonna do? Oh man, you got you can hear somebody going, "Hey man, you got your dog under control. That's fucking awesome, man." <laughs> Oh, asshole no, no, got no. me controlled. <laughs> oh, it's 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 for real. Like like dinner time, he'll get up off the couch, walk <laughs> over to the bowl. Like he'll walk over to the bowl, and then just look at you. <laughs> he'll just stay there until, until you feel it. <laughs> no, you don't eat. It's funny as hell. It's like oh, man. like come on, motherfucker. Yeah, I feel, I feel like Benson. Yeah, I feel like Benson in my own house. <laughs> he goes to the back door again. He'll go to the back door, and then he'll just look at you again. <laughs> And he'll just stare at you until you open the door. It's creepy. Oh, uh, shit. That's funny. Yeah, he's funny as hell, man. He's a funny kid, funny dog. I'm about to say funny kid. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so tomorrow I'll be working on a bed. Taking some stuff to the house tomorrow. Nice. It's exciting, bro. It is. It is super exciting, bro. Super exciting. Oh yeah. Can't wait. And and all of our couches, dude. All of our couches got the um, what do you call it? Um, uh, automatic leg lift shit. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's nice, bro. Yeah. That is nice. So, the, uh, automatic recliner. You know. Need that. So we got we got <clears throat> we got a we got one piece that's kind of like let's call the uh, chair and a half. Mm -hmm. So you can you can actually fit two of the kids or even me and Mama. You know, even me and Mama can sit in there together, man. They're like, hell yeah, we sitting there that's watching TV. We sit there watching knock TV out. together. Just knock out. Yeah. Hell yeah. I need a new sofa for my basement, man. I love your basement, dude. <laughs> it's so it's such a cool area, dude. It's a cool. I love area. how you got. It. I, I love how you got it set up, bro. It's a little. Uh, it's like my little own little little studio space. Yeah. Well, in the new house, I'm gonna I'm gonna be in the garage as well, but I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna set it up kind of like a little studio. But what I want to do is I want to get a background behind me, and mm -hmm. uh. I th I think I might get something like on wheels or something and and kind of rig it to where I've got like some of my Star Wars uh posters or yeah, like a display shelf or something. Or, yeah, kind of like a display shelf. 
but it, it'll be like on wheels and shit. So that way I can just roll it out of the way when I need to. But um, I'll, I'll have a background behind me so you won't. Nobody will. I mean, my garage will be practically empty. But at the same time, I want to have a better background for, for, you know, the show, the coming up shows and stuff. So nice, nice. Uh, you know, and then and then if I want to, I can kind of change out whatever I want to change out. So if I can put different posters, just different pics or whatever, or um, different picture frames in it, I can change them out. You know, whenever I want to. That'd be sick. It's gonna be a lot of fun, man, setting up the new place. Yeah. Then again, what I was also thinking about maybe having a digital, like a like a small TV screen up on the wall. Uh, uh, up on that thing and I can actually do like uh, uh, wallpapers and for the backgrounds and stuff so I, I, I've got some different ideas about how I want to set it up because um, <clears throat> uh, I don't know it, it'll be kind of it'd be kind of cool you know figuring it out hell yeah hell yeah figuring it out figuring it out it'll be kind of cool we're trying to get out of here in like the next two years. Oh yeah, Try. bigger, big, bigger and better home. Yeah, man, we outgrew this one with the kids. Oh yeah, it was nice when it was just us two. But now <laughs> we got these two little animals. Yeah, yeah, it's always room for more. Yeah, once you start getting a little family going, man, you you need more room. Yeah, hell yeah. More Check room. out my albatross outfit. There you go. Yo, it's yeah. that cold out here, though. <laughs> I think it stopped snowing, but it feels so freaking cold. Yeah, Anthony's gonna turn into an Eskimo. An Eskimo. A, a a junction mo, a junction mo. <laughs> an Eskimo, yeah. We'll call we'll call him junction mo. Ain't no Eskimos anymore. They're junction mos. <laughs> <laughs> But he's afraid of his balls are going to touch it. What's that comment about? <laughs> what? Yeah, he doesn't want his balls in the snow? I can understand that, though. I mean, you know, I don't, yeah. really, you know, I don't want my balls in toilet water. <laughs> TK is going to have to cut it short. He is going to... What does he say? He's... Uh, hope you guys have a good one. Have a good night. Mundo, Anthony, Kevin, have a good one. Have a good one, TK. Yeah, Thanks for coming TK. by. Have a good Thanks one, for bro. being here the whole time. Yeah, and, man. Um, have a great night. Catch you on the flip flop, bud. Catch you on the flip flop. This is real, man. You're about to break night, bro. Doing this shit. <laughs> <laughs> <It's getting> real. <laughs> real. Just copy paste in this BS. Gonna be real. All the words. Why you gotta talk so many words? I don't like that word learning. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many letters in these words. God damn it. <laughs> Prestige worldwide. Error. I don't like all that word learning. Prestige. There are problems in the following fields. The cornfield. Poppy field. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but what would that dude say in the um Simpsons movie with the levees? He was like, "Oh, try to try to get through these levees, whatever his name was." He was like, I, I can't. Oh, I I can't. I, I simply, simply can't. can't. <laughs> I simply can't. <laughs> oh, I can't. That movie was pretty damn funny, boy. Oh my gosh! You know what movie I actually put on for the guys today? Do you remember uh, Warriors of Virtue? Damn, that's the second movie I don't remember, man. I, it's, I'm, oh, I, I, hate, I hate when you mention a movie and I don't know it. I'm like, I feel like I lost. Like, god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a contest step that you don't know yeah, what happened. It, it's a kung fu uh, kangaroos, man. That's the second kangaroo. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Well, what was the other one you said? No, it was. It's called. It's called the Warriors of Virtue. But the, uh, the first movie you mentioned today. It sounded like a movie that was about a kangaroo. That's why I had kangaroo in my head. 
Oh, Buckaroo Banzai. <laughs> Buckaroo Banzai. Buckaroo Banzai. Jesus. You okay? You gotta check them out. You gotta check them out. My gosh, Kev, you're killing hey, me, Smalls. You're know. killing me. Killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Yeah, I don't know it, man. Gotta check it out. Got to check it out. Are you keeping your coat on? You cold? You got you got some homework <laughs> to do. I am cold. Oh, here, man. What is going on here? What happened? It's not working anymore? No, Take no. another shot of tequila. You get oh, warmed no, up. No. Oh, yeah. You would get super warmed up. You do that. Come on. Do it, man. <laughs> do it. Make you feel good. It'll make you feel good. <laughs> what kind of tequila is it? Um, it's not as good as Mundo tequila. It's <laughs> called Espolon. Oh, yeah, I know that one. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I never heard of it before. I just asked the guy for something, and he pulled this from behind the counter. Well, you know, um, I, I don't. George Strait has got some uh, tequila that I want to try. It's called Contigo or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I wanna, I wanna try some of that shit. So I'm gonna order me some, and see how it, how it tastes. I've been, I've been seeing it on, uh, cause I, I've got him on my Facebook, and I see a lot of the posts about this. So I think it'll be an interesting, in, interesting tequila to taste. And eventually, eventually, I'm gonna send send you guys some of that balconis. You know, probably uh, sometime later after I get situated with the new house and stuff. Moon is a champion. Yo, this is telling me it has a problem. And I don't understand what the problem is. It says there are problems in the following fields. Doesn't tell me what the following fields were. And now I don't see what the fuck the <laughs> problem is. There's no like little exclamation points or no, not that I can like red red little exclamation points or something. Normally if there's a problem with the what whatever there is it'll be highlighted or something, right? It is nothing. Yeah. Weird, weird. Hmm. Is something wrong with the price or something? I don't know, man. This is driving me insane. Driving me insane. Insane in the membrane. So I didn't go over. Yeah, I didn't go over characters here. <clears throat> Fine. Maybe it doesn't want it doesn't want like I don't I don't know. What about above it? It says retail price. Like what's yeah, I, above? I haven't, I haven't done. It says price and retail price. So I don't I don't understand. I haven't I haven't put anything in retail price for any of them. Oh, I see. Maybe, maybe that's why. But that but it it, it didn't flag that before. Oh, it didn't. Yeah, it's oh, visible, okay. visible, because it's not—it's not a hidden perk. It's a visible perk. Now, okay. is that the browser that you said wasn't working before? No, no. The, this is Chrome. Chrome was working before. Then I have the collector's tier in the title, included items. Okay, you have. I was going volume one signed. This one has three of them. Trading cards, full set. Okay, poster. Okay, original sketch. So it's the problem. Image is fine. Ships World Road, graphic novel volume one sign times three. Buster two. Estimated date six oh. twenty twenty one. 
yes, this perk contains items that need to be shipped. And it does. It does, though. Yeah, it, yes, so. Okay. Um, we're going worldwide. I don't know about this $10 on worldwide, but, you know, I think it would be a nice. Shipping fee. Yeah, like I've run into some things with like Australia it would probably be like sixteen dollars and not ten, but I don't know. Maybe it would it would kind of even out. I don't know. I could save it. Should, it shouldn't be a problem. I don't want to refresh, but let me let me reload it because this is getting crazy. Jesus Christ! He logged me out. Like what the fuck? Oh shit! <laughs> No, like, I'm not even surprised anymore, Mundo. This is, like, the way it's been going for us uh, on Indiegogo. Yeah, I wild. don't know what's going on, actually. It is messed up. It ain't even funny, man. Like, why, why are you treating me like this, bro? Every time we try to do a campaign, like, we're, we're here for, like, six hours, and then the campaign never happens. Because we're just like not intelligent enough to do it. Yo, it's crazy, <laughs> man. It is insane. Okay. It's insane. Okay, so now I got to do that one all over. Okay. Okay, save that. Fine. Thank you. Create new perk. Standard perk. It's visible. I said it's 99 bucks for this perk. Title of the perk is Collector's Tier. The title of the perk is doing everything two times. Two times. Add an item. Albatross Junction Volume 1 signed. You're getting three of those in this guy. Add an item. You are getting... Full set trading cards. You are getting poster times two. And what else are you getting here? Are they getting a sketch? sketch? Original sketch. And this this description, I'm I'm just I'm just putting this silly shit in here. Just to put something in there. We could um I don't know what the fuck I have no description. Perk image. Boom. Graphic novel, sign, times three, training cards, posters, original sketch. All right. Quantity available. Uh, we put a limit on the quantity or no? Not on not on that particular one. Okay. <coughs> Four, six. Two thousand. Yeah, be, be quick about it and it won't log you out. You know what I'm saying? Ten bucks save no problem there we go Bomb. oh my god create new perk visible perk there you go Comic it's a bulletin mundo only <laughs> this perk includes sucky sucky <laughs> <laughs> There goes Anthony with the dick jokes again. <laughs> there we go. It hit that time. It was one in the morning, bro. This doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Create new eyes. One. Times ten, biatch. Oh, save item. Oh, Caleb, I think you're getting it now, boy. Get in there. We're moving now. We're moving now. Yeah. Jesus. All right. 
So this this doesn't ship for ten bucks though, right? Ten copies, I can't imagine shipping for ten bucks. Yeah, maybe that one's gonna have to be like twenty five bucks to ship. I'm gonna just call it. Just put twenty. Just be. Just fucking do it. How okay. many? No, no limits on this one. Uh, no. Now, once you save all this info, are you going to be able to tweak it later or no? Like, it just depends. Certain things you can and certain things you can't. Like, Kevin really has to get these tiers right, because if we don't like something about it later, our only option is to hide it. There's, yeah, like, no that's... other option. And then, it's like, we could make a new tier, I think, but... Uh -huh. So that's a, that's the thing that I was saying is that, uh, you know, with that tier there... If uh, if you're not going to if you're not able to tweak it and you got to make a whole new you know new tier then uh, that's something that you would need to. It's wild. Yeah, yeah and in that case, like all these tiers would actually turn into tiers. <laughs> mm -hmm. For real. Hollow weeb, what's up? Hello, well, hello, hello there. Baby. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for stopping in. We are setting up our Indiegogo campaign for Albatross yeah, Junction, our live, comic book. Buddy. About to go live, buddy. Kevin is a few steps away from hitting the live button on this campaign. It should have been done, but it's taken a little bit longer than expected, which is fine. Got to get it right. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer just to get it right. Yep. And technical difficulties set you back a little bit. But... A little bit. A little bit. But we, I mean, we did a lot. Mercury wow. must be in retrograde. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it though? I would, I'm la I'm, I would laugh if it is. Mercury is so coming sad. in for it. Copy trading cards original sketch. Copy. I'm telling cards. you right now, Poster. right now, it's it, it's in a good spot. All all good things are coming into play right now. Original sketch. Boom. Hell, uh, any any um quantity on this? We're not trying to do too many of these, right? Like, which one are you on right now? The become a citizen. Yeah, the I, become a citizen. I think is four. You could do four of those. Yeah, that's a lot. 2021. Save it. Sheesh. And then the one that's like, um, whatever, I think it's like the the painting one, that's only one. That's only one, yeah. And then there might be like the, the highest tier, like the the... The one that's going to be like the making of tier. I think we maybe have to tweak that one a little bit once you get there. So I think you're a couple away. So there's like a page art, then there's cover art, then there's painting. Then I think there's this making of tier, but we may need to uh, just tweak that a little bit. A little bit. All right, and they do create one. So this is going to be original. Page. Ah. Uh. I'll give you enough characters, man. This sucks. <laughs> Original comic book page. Do you have any room in the description to put that, or that is the description? I mean, it's just the item name. <clears throat> you could everything. probably pretty much copy paste. have 40 available 
I would put a, instead of that title, put a original issue number one comic book page if that fits. Think that'll work? Or put like volume one, V O L one, whatever. Volume one. Do you think we could tweak the uh, the imagery after tonight, or is that not tweakable? Um, I think it should be. You said it should be. I mean, I don't see why why it shouldn't be, but like I don't know. Like I mean, I don't know. I, I, w I would love to really make really nice graphics for those for those things, unless you yeah. already did, you know. I just made quick lists. Original cover art owner. Park. Flying through there now, buddy. Try, I'm trying over here. I'm trying, you getting it? Ain't no trying. You it. are doing it. I think somebody has to say something around here about that. <laughs> There you go. There's no try, god damn it. Kev, you be jealous an entire batch of chocolate chip cookies popped out tonight. Wow. Chocolate chip cookies don't really drive me too crazy. Well, you liked them last time when I brought them in. You said fucking like... <laughs> Well, those had macadamia. These don't have the macadamia. Ooh, macadamia. Oh, are you, are you talking about the shit you make? Yeah, those ones I make. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Those, those are fucking crazy. Yeah, those are crazy. Those are crazier. Let me just go through these things real quick. Look at that. There you go. Flying, flying. Flying over here. Boom. Boom, boom. Start. You're gonna have to start playing that song. Boom, boom, boom. Want you in my room? <laughs> <laughs> Let 
I'm gonna get a little. I'm gonna get a little crazy here. Well, no, you should. You should get like um, one of those pianos, those little electric pianos, and then you could play us like tunes. Right. If Kevin wasn't busy, he could do it. What's that? Play us like some some instrument. I'll play some. <laughs> there we go. There's an original score right there. That was official. <laughs> Brought to you by the Moon DeLorean. That's right. And do the little woodchuck dance to go with it. Mm -mm -mm. Become an official, guys. Become an official. Jeez. It happened here tonight on Mundo's birthday. That's right. Happy birthday, man. Mundo's 34th birthday. 34. Shit, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'm 47 now. And damn. Getting old. You 47, you said? 47, bro. Sheesh. I'm almost nice over the hill. hill. I'm almost over the hill. Had no idea, bro. Yeah. Had no idea. I'm a Toys R Us kid, though. Shit. Oh, yeah. Always. Always. Sixteen by twenty. All right. Sixteen by twenty. Oh, I got a great idea for that. Uh, for that um, final tier mm -hmm. is albatross, like that. That making of, mm -hmm. but also Kev, like. Some some extra content that is like uh like stuff for the next volume, oh, original yeah. sketches and stuff like that. There you go. I'll be sick. Like sketches, yeah. notes, and concept art for from the next volume. Like the never before seen stuff, so I don't know how to exactly say that, but uh, um, up and coming pick, uh, up and coming volume picks. Yeah, like something like uh, I don't know, I don't know how to say it. Like never before seen uh, volume two original artwork well there you go that works just like that you know um volume two original artwork go for the you know straight into it you know kevin cosme will paint your kids i'll paint your kids <laughs> he turns ugly kids cute and cute kids cuter. Oh my gosh. Damn. He'll turn your kid from urban to contemporary. <laughs> <laughs> Kev, you know what I think would actually sell like a lot? Like I don't know how to get into that market. I mean, I wouldn't be able to do the paintings. Maybe you could. But getting into the market of like taking people's kids right 
like so they're they're little though they're like toddlers where they almost they have a personality like you know how you could tell your kid's personality from when they were super super like the fucking day one mm-hmm. so kevin you look at a picture or you look at the toddler right you try to figure out the personality but you turn them like every time every painting every single time this is why people come to you uh you turn them into a rapper does anyone do that like <laughs> Maybe. I'm not saying turn them into Jay Z, but turn them into them as a rapper, <laughs> as a toddler rapper. Do people do that already? Like the dancing oh, no. baby. Okay. No, like baby. it's like a painting where, like, it's like it's that toddler, but it's as a rapper. So, like, with sunglasses, oh, I see. I see. with fucking like chains, you know? Oh yeah. Different outfits. Tattoos, maybe. You know, I don't know. Oh, like really? posing, you know, posing like it's like rapping. I think that would be awesome. I think a lot of people would want that. But the painting couldn't take too long. Like, you know, it would have to be like the kid couldn't grow too much. Like, it'd just be like a little toddler, paint him up as a rapper and be done with it. Don't let it take too long. They'll change their mind. Yeah. They'd be like, little little Johnny doesn't look as cute as a rapper anymore. But yeah, I don't want to know this no more. He'd be cuter as a doctor. I don't know. I don't know whatever they'd say. <laughs> so yeah, you had to do it quick. Wow, man. Flying through there, flying through it. Original ink page, issue one. Mm-hmm. So, original. Yeah, it looks like you might have to <laughs> Sh- yeah. shorten it a little bit I there. Think- I think like an, an absolutely excellent, <clears throat> excellent painting. Like, I don't know why I haven't seen anyone get this, like heard of anyone get the, get this painting before. Um, like if you, if, if I ever hired someone to paint me, wouldn't, wouldn't the best, you know, subject matter to have painted of you would be you killing Hitler. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 you get like a big painting made and you hang it in your living room. Oh shit. <laughs> you can change history. <laughs> People that you see can... what I you see what I did, motherfucker. You see what I did? <laughs> no, I ain't spite them, but fuck that. Like, no, I took care no. of that shit. I took care of that. Hate doesn't exist in my world. No. No more hate. <laughs> no more hate. We need all love. All love. It'd be very ironic if the painting was like really bloody and gory. Dude, have some kind of like, yeah, just rip him to shreds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then when people ask, be like, be like, they'd be like, "What is this?" Be like, "It's my anti-hate painting." Yeah. Just having hey, a big can, living room. Can't you see how much I hate hate? No, dude. No. What what you could do is have the word hate like all all <laughs> bloody, all bloody and stuff like that, and then have some like uh like vampire fingers, you know, with the nails and shit, just ripping through it. You know. Yeah, yeah. That's how. That's how you should portray it. Yo, know, what, what what do you think? Like thirty bucks shipping sounds like crazy on this last one. Albatross Junction Volume One, the cards, three original sketches, um, an inked page, the making of stuff. No, I think that's fair. Uh, thirty dollars, yeah. All right. Now for the painting, you put a little more, right? You put maybe like forty bucks, or uh, yeah, the paintings, yeah, the painting is much more. It's not the last one, but it's the second to last, I think, right? Yep, 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 yep. 
So how many tiers do you have total? Well, I have endless tiers, especially when Kevin insults me. But... <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. We have nine, nine tiers. Nine nice. Wow. So items. What is this items shit? Create new item. No, we don't have to create a new item. Let's create a special dildo for the Manfredos to use. <laughs> a Manfred Manfredo dildo. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, are we doing a team shit or no? I mean, I'm a, uh, I'm a. There's a, there's a team here, three of us. <laughs> I, I kind of put that like in the description on on a previous page. I don't know if we need this like as a page. You better just just come correct. Whatever has to funding. be correct. All right, here we go. What is this funding type? And you go Canadian with, dollars. To just select Canadian and fixed funding, all or nothing. You want to do the all or nothing, fixed or flexible? I don't know what. Uh, can you read it to me? It says funding type. Indiegogo offers two funding types: flexible funding, which is you keep what you raise, and fixed funding, all or nothing. I guess that's like if you don't hit your target, it's just you, you can't. Uh, wait, let me try to understand the difference here. So yeah, like, let me like, come back in the picture. Only, if we only raise five hundred bucks, we keep that and move forward, or we say no, we're, we're going to offer refunds. Oh, I mean, I kind of think that this is a a, a campaign that I'm going to run, even if it doesn't. Okay. Like, isn't a financial success, even if it's not a financial success. So. All right. So we'll I would say that. whatever you have to select to say that uh, we're going to do it, no matter. what what as, right, so then, as uh, uh, the the goal the goal is 3500 right 3500 as your presumptuous aunt would aunt would say um we'll do it no matter what what <laughs> what why why yeah, we're gonna try to try to get thirty five hundred. I think it's probably gonna cost like seven G's to print, but we're gonna see where where we get with this. I know that Indiegogo looks good upon people who surpass their funding goals, so that's why we're choosing a lower. Well, I gotta I gotta verify my ID before we can go live. Please. Well, all right, all right. Uh, stop stop the screen then. No, I want I want to show my social. <laughs> What are you talking about over here? Yeah, get Kevin verified. He's gonna need to get his fingerprint. They're not gonna accept yeah. him because he was in a he was in a county lockup for thirty days. I don't know if that counts toward so you're incarceration. Getting, you're getting Kevified. Incarceration might might pre, uh, prevent a comic book from being created to, in today's world. Nah. nah, the book's gonna soar, guys. Watch, watch, it's gonna blow up like a motherfucker. <laughs> oh, man. Shit's, gonna, shit's gonna start flying off the door handle. Don't talk about flying door handles or ship blowing up because kevin was incarcerated on the uh, suspect of uh threats over the phone yeah it's gonna give a whole new meaning to the word shit happens shit happens bro <laughs> i was incarcerated for leaving a bag of uh stank poop on my neighbor's doorstep that was on fire damn i knew i should have got a, a, a something to fling it back at your ass <laughs> <laughs> I told you it was the other it was the other neighbor, but it was really me. Yeah. I knew you'd step on it with those boots. Damn it. You know for the longest time they called me kit shit kicker, so fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what us cowboys are, man. Shit kickers. You step on a pile of shit, you're like, fuck the worst feeling in the world. Kick it off. Kick it off. 
I think in, in our world of Albatross, maybe instead of like having a driver's license, you have a, uh, a polar ID. It's just like a super cold polar ID. Nah, man, you don't even need a, a, a driver's license in Albatross. You just fucking take the ride and go. <laughs> you're a cold motherfucker. And you just take the ride and go. Fuck it. <laughs> you gonna freeze? Yeah, fuck it. I'm frozen. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you got somebody about to get on their vehicle and they got frozen, so it's like, eek, eek. yeah, motherfucker's frozen. I'm taking his vehicle. You have to like, you have to like melt them off or somehow scrape them off. Yo, so we have to um, make up a code, even 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 the code you wanna. That's gonna show when people charge it. So we'll let we don't do like Alba Comic or something like that, cause you don't have that much. AJ space. AJ Comic AJ Comic. Keep it simple. Mm. Keep it simple, stupid. Yep. It's always best. The Kiss method is always the best. Generate a link to the current draft of your campaign. Share this link to get feedback from friends on how your campaign is shaping up before your campaign goes live. Huh. What? Do we want to do that? I think we just shared it like with Mundo and with that, anyone that was watching. I think it's uh, it's pretty legit. Mm -hmm. Kev, do you think it needs to be proofread or anything? Is anything I mean, wrong in the I mean, we're, we're, do, we're doing a lot tired right now so i mean it doesn't hurt to wait another extra day you know what i'm saying okay you know what you want to go live for real the real actual launch on i mean what if we lose everything though that you just did I don't, tonight I don't think, I don't, no no we're not because i have to wait to get my id got to get verified anyway so they know it's, okay. it's me and it's my everything you know what i'm saying it's my everything it's my everything <laughs> i say that three times a day over small my things everything bro it's my everything <laughs> Um, okay, so you're going to get verified. Then maybe on New Comic Book Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, we will uh, actually have it have it up, right? So it's yeah. like you're going to come to the bedroom ready on Wednesday. <laughs> um, <laughs> after we review tomorrow. How's that sound? Let's do it. New Let's Comic Book it. Wednesday. Actual launch Wednesday, new comic book day, February toyed. Um, productive, 2021. Productive night, How's though. that sound? Big, big productive night we had. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. As long as this, as long as this Indiegogo doesn't like have that disappeared, and then when you go look for that tomorrow, that'd be that'd be great. That would be great. We've had some well, strange, I had to, I had to, strange. I had to verify my thing. ID and a bank account, so I put all that shit in there. Okay, so get to get all that in there. Take forever, you know what I'm saying? Like, shouldn't mm -hmm. more than it should be verified by tomorrow, right? Like, what the fuck? Verified. And then Mundo's Very gonna fast. start his uh, refund process, and he's gonna want a refund from that account. So just, uh, bro, shame sure on us for thinking this was gonna <laughs> take an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that'll be done by midnight. By the time Mundo's birthday happens, this thing will be live. The shot will be celebratory for the yeah. comic going live. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll do that shot on Wednesday. Mundo will be here again. Kevin will be here again. We'll be. I uh, will. Maybe we'll be drawing more since like this campaign will will be a little less uh, under the gun with the campaign. We'll have it fully, fully ready now that the draft yeah, is yeah. ready. So it, it, it's going to be good to have that link that we, I'll send it to you guys and then we'll just like just go through it. You know what I'm saying? Awesome. Yeah. And what you'll do too is uh, we'll get me that email list and or we'll maybe have to do it through the some Albatross uh, email that we'll send out that'll uh, explain to people or that'll have this link in it. So mm -hmm. maybe that'll be Wednesday as well, you know, Wednesday or Thursday. We'll have to send out this email that was like people who signed up for the pre-launch. Um, they're going to get a couple special perks if they buy the book now that the launch is happening on Wednesday. So that'll be that'll be pretty cool to set up set that up. 
Mm -hmm. Nice. And uh, thank you guys for staying up on this. Yeah, man. Night. Appreciate, we appreciate getting, it. Yeah, getting it ready. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Thank you, people, for whoever's watching. Word. And TK, thanks for hanging with us when you did, man. And, uh, you know, we all appreciate everything that, that these guys worked their ass off for. So show them some love. Appreciate you, man. Show appreciate you, sir. Yeah, thank you, Mundo. Happy birthday. Have thank a great guys. day Happy today. Happy birthday, sir. Yes, sir. Have a great sleep. Wake up. Have a great day tomorrow. Get out at four. Throw a party. Yeah. Do all that shit. Yeah, I'm going to do the Mundalorian. Yeah, I'm going to do the Mundalorian thing. I'm going to get a nice big steak to eat and go watch Star Wars, man. Hopefully. Oh, wow. Yeah. Awesome. That's that, my that's, kind of birthday. Yeah, that's that's my birthday stuff, man. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's my total relaxation bit, man. That's all my you birthday. need. Yes, it, absolutely. Enjoy it, man. Enjoy it. All right, fellas. All right, great. Have a Peace. great night. We'll see Later you on. on New Comic Book Day. It's coming Wednesday. Have a good one. You too, guys. Yeah.